Recently, I hosted a fundraiser tournament consisting of 16 of some of the coolest content creators in DBD. Aaron, JRM, Lilith Omen, and Olibot were all team captains of this tournament. We managed to raise over $5,500 during this tournament. The GoFundMe link will be in the description of the video if you're interested in donating still. This is a long video consisting of every single game that we watched. I hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And we are going to head straight into game number one. We have Meow Wolf Bark, who I can only assume is Alf. Playing on the pale, <laughs> the pale rose, <laughs> as per picked by James himself. All right, I can't lie. Uh, I, I'm super excited for this tournament. I really hope it goes smoothly. Alf is looking currently at main, heading towards the boat. Can't find anybody. He's got corrupt intervention. We're not hiding any of the perks, which uh, maybe we should have done. Game audio. You should be able to hear the audio. Is it a bit quiet? I can turn it a little bit. Go. How's that? Um, yes. First survivor there found is Ollibot. Running chase from the mini boat, heading towards this little filler area here. Drop in early. Doesn't want to take a hit. Turn mic down. Is my mic loud? Sorry, I got you guys. There you go. A little bit quieter now. Hopefully that's fine. Alrighty. Sorry, I'm like proper leaning into my mic. Straight over around Shaq here. It looks like Alf is going to try and mind game. It doesn't pay off. And he's going to concede. He's going to concede. He's leaving super early on. Making his way over to the Saga. Holsam. There are some North American players in this tournament, by the way. So do be aware there might be some ping diffs, some crazy hits. Um, again, this is all for fun. So don't worry too much about it. But yeah, just bear that in mind. Sam taking Alf straight into main, pre-dropping. That pallet right there. Maintaining the chase. Sam is injured, so it actually makes most sense. There's a Hex Totem gone. I believe that must have been uh, Huntress Lullaby. Popped up all of Blood down. Makes the hit, though. First down for Team James. It'll be the first hook, hopefully, if nothing goes wrong. Lovely. Can have a little look around in the meantime. I guess we could sit around and spectate. We see Ollie on a generator here. Just realized, I believe that's Grim. Is that Grim? It is Grim Embrace. Now, having a little look around towards the pallets. Finds an Ada inside Shaq. Heather Lara TV here. A lot of these players, by the way, I believe this is their first tournament, so please give them all the support you can. They are going to be trying their best, of course. Alf's going for the crazy mind game, and it comes in clutch here. Getting the down on the Ada, just outside the shack window. Absolutely beautiful. That looks like a basement hook, if I've ever seen one. Have a quick look and see what everybody else is doing. Ollie's still on that gen. Looks like the gen's almost going to be popped. There's the basement hook. Have whole Sam on another generator. We've got Glider making his way, maybe for the save soon. Alf's having a little look around. Finds the Ollibot. Oh, the double vault! Comes in clutch, gets the hit. Little mind game around here. Is he going to catch up in time towards the pallet? We'll see. I don't think so. Maybe go for a swing. No. Nope. Looks like Ollie's gone to pre drop. Alf, rightly so, is going to break that pallet. Makes that whole tile a lot weaker now. While Ollie gets some distance away. Alf looks like he might be potentially teleporting away. He is. He did not fake it. I thought he might have. Finds a... Oh, <laughs> little M1 there. Finds a Lara in the wild. Back on another shack chase here. Oh... Glider opted to go around the outside of Shaq. The first generator coming in there for Team Ollie. I'm loving. I, I just sorry, I just looked over to the left. I love. I, I can see the scoreboard updating. It's so cool. <laughs> love this. All right, that's the second gen. Two generators, super duper quick. Back to back coming in for Alf. Oh, Saga's been caught out here. Whole Sam taking a hit from Team Ollie. Alf getting another M1. 
Another dream projection coming in, potentially, to close the distance. Ops to fake it. Oh, Sam's tried leaving the area. Don't know if she'll make it anywhere else. That is a down. Again. Of it. It's exciting. Just to remember, there is a point in play for every single first hook that comes in. So there'll be one point for a hook per hook and one point for a first hook. So if there is somebody that has not been hooked yet, it's actually more beneficial to go for them. Back onto main. Ollie's gone for the pallet stand and the blind. Does Ollie get the distance needed? He does. He drops down though, but so does Alf. Finds a beautiful place to drop down. Catch up in time. Get the M1. That'll be another hook. 14 JRM. Love to see it. Let's have a little look and see what everybody else is doing right now. Heather's on a generator right now. There's only two generators left to be completed. Three gens have been completed. We go back on Alf again. He's having a little look around. He's seen a saga. The unhook has come in. Saga's going to take Chase up. I believe Holsam is death hook now. So it would make most sense to go for this down. Get the uh, the kill out of the way. Lovely pre-drop, pallet drop. Alf trying to cut his way through this, uh, this dock area. Sam keeping the distance. There's a little perk that I'm a little bit scared of that Alf's running in the form of a no Ed. Brother knows Edward. That could come into play soon. Is Alf going to catch up for this M1? No, he is not. He's going to have to run around the outside. Try and catch up. This should be an M1 here, unless there's a pallet up here. No. Be an M1 there. It looks like Glider's coming in to try and take a hit. Potentially some... Uh, nope, just a fake there. Might be another M1. Is indeed. Ed is such a guy. No education. Crazy. Both of them running around Shaq here. Oh, very well played to drop. Drop off there. They didn't actually put the pallet down. There's a down there now. See, even though tunneling isn't allowed, because there was somebody nearby, Alf could have gone for the slug in that instance. But he opted to pick up and get the basement hook, which could come in very clutch. That is a fresh hook as well. We're in the end game, but we also have a little perk that's lit up in the bottom right. A little perk. I'm a little bit scared. It looks like the Ada's in the... Oh. Ada's noticed. I don't know if Ada's picked onto it. There's the Insta down there. The Exposed coming into play. That will be another hook there for Team JRM. Oh, this gate isn't actually too far progressed. Looks like they tried leaving a little bit earlier. There's Glider caught along the outside here. Drop the Shack pallet. Very well played there. All five generators done. Bear that in mind. That is maximum points that Team Ollie can get for Survivor. It's all about how many points Alf can get right now in the killer side. Another down there. Why being taken over to a hook. Looking like Alf is opting for the hook. Furthest away. Try and make it more and more difficult for the survivors to try and... Uh, try and get the unhook to save. It looks like, despite getting rid of Noed... They have opened the exit gates and they are all going to leave. That is a three out for Team Ollie. Alf with the 1k. 
but a respectable, very respectable on Freddy. Seven hooks. G G's. Good first game. There we go. Respected. Where's the killer? Ooh, ooh. Ollie. Sport again. And this is game number two. For the first matchup. Team JRM versus Team Ollibot. Ollie opting to grab the Dream Snares instead of the Dream Pallets, I've noticed. Interesting. I'm having a look at the build, and it's looking pretty similar as well. Very, very similar. Um, perk loadout to, to what Alpha's running. Brutal Strength, I notice as well. I believe Ollie has found James, first of all, if I'm not mistaken. Straight into a chase. Getting a very nice stun there. On main building, but that pallet is now gone already. That's, a, that's an early pallet gone. Well, he's doing some mind gaming and it's paid off. He's gotten a first M1 on JRM. Gonna try and maybe go for a faking dream projection. He has indeed. He's just gonna opt for the holding W. The holding W tech. Are they gonna go for the vault? No, James tried faking it, but Ollie might be catching up here with the bloodlust and gets her down at Shaq. That is quite a early down here compared to what we saw from the previous match that Alf was playing. Very, very well played, Ollie. Good first hook. That will be one hook plus a first hook point for Team Ollie. So that is a two pointer. Before the first gen's been done, there's Grim Embrace coming in as Ollie's teleported towards main. This generator seems like it's almost done as well. We've picked up on the beautiful Jiggle Death, the very sexy Jiggle Death that I really can't be biased about. Gets an M1 on Jiggle. Playing the Nia, I noticed. Going for a little pre drop there, trying to extend the chase. Very nice. Ollie's gone for the little uh, shortcut there. Oh, Jiggle very, very nicely faked that vault there. It looks like James is maybe going to be trying to potentially take a hit here, unless he's just been caught in the middle. Oh, James is down. Ollie can do this. Ollie is allowed as the, uh, the, the down was close by. Ollie can opt to chase. Jiggle here. Jiggle does indeed go down as well. And Jiggle will be being picked up. This is perfectly fine. As long as somebody has picked up. And there's two people down. Um, as per the fault of the killer, of course. You know, it's a bit different with Plot Twist. There is a five-second time limit for somebody to be picked up. And that has been Eve. Making our way back to this over here. It looks like we've seen ourselves some killer instinct here. And here's Cap. We love Cap. In his way on mini boats. He's got to fake those. Go for the medium vault. Ollie gets an M1. Where is Alf? Alf switched out for uh, classed in this instance. Uh oh. I see a. Uh... <laughs> the graphics got a bit wonky. Apologies for that, guys. Let us uh... keep going. Brown to Shaq here. Oh, no vaulting in. Cap has played that very, very nicely. Ollie's had to go for the vault there. Cap steps in the trap there. The snare. Drops the pallet. That is Shaq pallet gone. Still only one generator done for team games. There we go. We got it sorted. Thank you, gamers. Oh, Cap tried faking it. Did not get there in the end. Ollie read it perfectly. And got the down for another hook state there. There's quite a few generators that I assume are close to being completed now. Is a little bit scary. Oh, what a lovely teleport onto that generator there. Getting an M1 on Jiggle. Putting a Dream Snare down on this loop. Another Dream Snare down. We shall see. Jiggle's opted to leave the area. Will she make it anywhere? I'll have to see. It doesn't look like it. You had the right play there, but there is a down coming in again for Team Ollie. Yeah. Ollie making his way to a hook. Let's have a little look and see what the other survivors are doing. We've got Cap close to getting a gen done. Completing the second generator for Team JRM. And also... 
another generator getting completed, by the looks of things, by James himself. But that is three generators completed now. Two left to be completed before endgame. All the exit gates are powered. Mr. Fredster, Mr. Fredatron's making his way to see James. Trying to make sure that James can't go anywhere. Trapping him behind the pog log. Well, it's not really a pog log, is it? It's not. It's not got the vault. It's just a log. It's just a long log. Lovely. And this will be an M1 coming in. Bye, Ollie. James now injured. Hoping to run away. Looks like he's just going to be going edge map. Waste as much time as possible. And there is a down there right in the corner of the map. Presumably far away from quite a lot of hooks as well. Where is the closest hook here? Oh, wow. It is a trek away. Do they get another generator done in the meantime? Oh, it looks like they do. A fourth generator by Jiggle coming in. Cap Jam's working on the mini boat. A good chunk of the way there. We'll head back on. Tyrone getting the unhook there. Get the... There we go. There's Ollie. In the chase now with Jiggle again. Oh, just gets that M1 right at the edge of his little sharp finger claw things that he's got. I don't know what they're called. Sorry. <laughs> it looks like Class is taking chase now. Headed towards Shaq. Shaq Pallet is down. Already, it has been destroyed, so there is nothing here besides the vault. Ollie is looking to try and get himself a fresh hook unclassed here. This would count for double, as it does count for a point for the first hook as well. Trying to mind game around. Blast does drop the pallet in time. Brutal strength coming in for the pallet. Destruction. Does Ollie catch up in time? He does not. Class double vaults back in through the window. This is incredible gameplay here from Mr. Class. I think it does look like inevitably Class will go down, but not before the fifth and final generator for Team JRM gets popped. All gens completed five generator points on the scoreboard for Team JRM. One thing to note, though, is that Noed has already been figured out because of that M1 on class after the last generator. So they are aware of Noed. That is a fresh hook, though, on class. There'll be two points. There'll be a, a hook point and a fresh hook point. For Ollie. Does James go down? He does. Oh, wow. I, did, I, I genuinely didn't expect that. Ollie's gone... Super Saiyan now. It looks like he's going to be slugging here. As it's end game now, he is allowed to slug. I was a bit questionable about it beforehand. Oh, all three of them have left though. It is just James on the floor. Could he be making it to Shaq? Oh, no, unfortunately. Oh, oh! Where did that come from? Oh my goodness, I, 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 what? I didn't see him. He was actually there, he got the escape. That is unreal. All right, we're getting into the third game now. We have Team James playing Survivor and Mr. Glider playing the Booba. The Booba. I love a Bubba game, I really do. I think Bubba is my favorite character in the game. He's got the award-winning chili. Let's go, let's go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. It is a bubba that we're playing. Straight into a chase. With James getting the pallet stunned super quick. With James's new internet, he's on like four ping. So he's going to stun every single pallet. In the lobby, most likely. Glider opting not to break Shaq. Which is interesting. He's gonna maybe... Oh, no. He's heading straight through. Does he make it, though? <gasps> oh! oh, my goodness. What a down. What a down from Glider. That is insane. 
crazy speed there with the award-winning chili add-on. Bentle. Get a basement hook on JRM quite early on here. We're seeing a fairly similar build as well. As last games. The last couple of games. Same slowdowns. The only difference in perk is that bottom one there, the bamboozle. Grim Embrace coming in clutch here. I'm going to have a quick look around the map and see if we can find anybody else. Five people are on gens. Oh, class is in a chase now. Getting straight in here. Look at that balance landing value coming in there. He is off. He is off like a rocket. Ben sniffing the scratch marks. Picks up class again. Oh, beautiful stun there from Klaast. Glider being tested to his limits here with this Bubba game. Oh, a cheeky M1 getting denied by another pre-drop. Glider making his way to the next pallet here. He's just not breaking any pallets. Does he make this? Not quite. Well played by Klaast here. Oh, he's double vaulted again, but the M1's coming clutch. He's running to a rock, though, so he hasn't got a whole lot of distance. Does he make this vault? He does, just about. Good vault there from Klaast. Glider, again, still not opting to uh, to break any pallets right now. There we go. Tell a light. He's finally done it. He's made it round. Cheeky M1 didn't come in clutch this time. Gonna go for another pallet. Oh, no, no, no. He is gonna break the pallet there. I thought he was gonna. Looked like he was gonna go for a cheeky little mind game. Klaast is absolutely insane. Well played. Taking Glider to edge map here. Extending the chase as much as possible. The second generator coming in for Team JRM. Klaast does indeed end up going down. Klaast is absolutely nuts. I love that guy. And that will be a fresh hook state and a first hook. Oh, sorry. Second hook, first hook state. All Team Ollie. A third generator comes in here. Glider opting to break that breakable wall there. Open up that main building a little bit more. That could bite him in the arse a little bit later on. We shall see. Looking around for the next generator to... Maybe, maybe find a sign of life. He does see somebody in mid-map. It looks like it's Cap. Playing the world-renowned Ace. He's going to catch up with his award-winning Chili. Very nice. Great right to a chase now. Oh, M1 didn't pay off. Cap has made his way to... I think he's in... Oh no, he's still in this tile. I thought he'd move to the next tile myself. <laughs> Totic, I see you. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> oh. Blider trying to sneak through. Oh, they get the vault. A quarter of a charge more there. I reckon he might have even got the hit there. Bamboozle double vault play coming in. Heading back to this tile here. Did not drop the pallet though. Oh, not quite the bump. He gets into a little tantrum. It does look like... Oh, the, that is really well played. A beautiful M1 there from Glider. The fourth generator coming in clutch now. Oh, never mind. All five gens have been completed. Just like that. That's all you need. That's all you need. This is genuinely all, all to play for still, though. No Ed coming in. There's an extra 4% movement speed tacked onto that as well, if I'm not mistaken. Unless it's been nerfed. I can't remember. Exit gate is open. A pallet stone coming in. All three escape super duper quickly. And it's just down to Glider now to try and get him... Try and get himself the M1. I don't know if he's going to make it, though, because... The hatch has opened up, and he indeed does not get the down or the unhook. And that is a GG. Get into Spectator. And have a little look at Alf. The old wolf bark. Back on the bull bar. 
Alf is back. Yes, Team JRM do have five different members. Um, initially, it was only supposed to be four, but just in case somebody had to drop out, Alf kind of asked me if uh, they could have a, a, a effectively a, a fifth player. Maybe if uh, one of them needed to go to bed early or something. And for the sake of it being a more chill tournament, I said yes. Alrighty. Alf has found an Ada quite early on. Oh, Heather went for the vault there, but does make it away with life. We love to see it. Oh, interesting. Going for the little Z wall here. Does try and go over the vault there. And I believe... Ah, oh, very unlucky. I thought that might have been a pallet stun, honestly. But Heather does go down, and it looks like that is the first hook there. Potentially taking Heather to basement. Very interesting. This will be a fresh hook as well as its first hook. Very, very strong start for Team JRM. Alf's going to make his way back out of basement. Grim Embrace coming into effect as well. This gen's got quite a lot of progression, you know. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Hollybot taking chase up now. Very, very nice stun. And a blind. No, oh, no, not quite. He opts to make the actual distance away there. Got a breakable wall down there. Destroyed. He's going straight back to the generator. Looks like he's heading back to the unhook, actually. Just as it comes in. Good game sense to read that. Does he make it? He, of course, cannot tunnel Heather, who has just been unhooked. So he has to go for Glider, which he very rightly has done. Oh. Alf's killer experience getting, getting the bamboozle. Going for another chainsaw rush and does get the pallet down though. It does get instantly broken up. Eaten up. He's opting to leave now. Head back to the gen. The first gen that's been completed. Or team Ollie. Straight into a chase of Ollie. Is he going to make it round the back? There's a filler here right round the back of main. He drops it straight away. He's being forced to stick to the pallet. And he decides to break it and move on. Ollie gets some extra distance there. Very well played by him. Making his way to another filler there. Another beautiful stun there from Ollie. Another failed flashlight, though. Interesting. Ollie's not with it. He's been using too many flashbangs in his streams. Doesn't know how to use a flashlight anymore. <laughs> Oh, the mind game. The mind game didn't pay off, though. A second generator done for Team Ollie. Ollie is putting in an absolute shift right now. Very well done. He gets the blind. Let's go. Third time's the charm. Three gens done. Ollie is absolutely cooking for his team. Alf still opting to keep chasing Ollie. Not dropping chase. He doesn't want to concede. This is a feud. Another pallet drop there, but it gets instantly eaten up by the chainsaw. Gonna fake it. Oh, just makes it on the vault. A little bit of hesitation from Ollie. Stops him from getting it. Instantly picked up. Very well played, very well played. That will be matching hooks, I believe. For this matchup, Grim Embrace coming in again. I think it's only 12 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. It's not, not too long, but it does block every generator, so it does come in very, very handy. Just to slow down that little bit of time. He's having a little peek to see if anybody's coming for Ollie. Doesn't see anybody. He only needs to win this official matchup, not including, obviously, the pay-to-win elements of this tournament. One more hook. A Team JRN. Finding somebody, finding some scratch marks. It looks like there was a, uh, a wild glider. Looks like Alf isn't opting to, uh, to chase. He wants to, he wants to kind of have a little, a little look around for, uh, anybody going for Ollie. Glider. 
heading in. Will he make it around? Does not. And that is a down. And lucky, but there's a fourth generator. Four points now on the board. But Team Ollie's survivor side. And that'll be a, a fresh hook coming in. Ollie now on second stage, I noticed as well. Which is another hook state. 14 JRM. Alf taking a chase up with the Saga here. Gets the pallet drop. Makes his way back in. No Ed coming into play now. And he bumps. Unlucky, unlucky. I like the mind game though. I like the idea. Execution. Heading over this way. Whole Sam taking up chase now. Very well played by Whole Sam to read that and head around. Completely lost. Alf got juiced up. <laughs> there you go. That's the vault. Whole Sam. Pick it up chase again. There's the blocked window there. I don't know if Holsam knew. It does look like she did, though. She's heading straight into Shack now. Gone for the vault. Alf's not blocking the vault, though. Again, quick reminder. There is all to play for here. There are more sets coming. Two more matchups. Two more sets to play for Team JRM. So the more, the merrier. There is an... Insta down with no Ed. That Mr. Super Alf hid. Very sneakily hid there. Right until they all left. That is a fresh hook. And that is also a full three stages. That will be game, match, and set, technically, if we're talking about how we've set up our tournament. <laughs> for um, Team JRM and Team Ollie. GG, well played, everybody. We are playing on Hawkins Laboratory. Lilith has spawned in with his bread and butter killer. Everybody knows him as the Blight main. He's going to be playing pinball inside this building. He's found scratch marks straight away. And it looks like, who's he found so far? Oh. Is that Spies from the Shadows? What a Giga Chad perk. Holy moly. I've just realized the build. Love to see it. He's going straight over this way. He's bumping on everything and anything. Aaron taking chase up here. The legendary Aaron. I believe he's got like 14,000 hours in the game now. It's unreal. This is a, just genuinely an absolute juggernaut lobby. Another pallet stun there, coming in early. Delaying the first hook as at all costs. Coming in very clutch, actually, this perk, you know. A lovely M1 there from Lilith straight onto Aaron. Lilith's going to be heading straight over to him. Is he going to be uh, waiting for his, uh, his light rushes again? I wouldn't be surprised. Ooh. Make it up top. He's got he's to try and fall down. He does. But he does fatigue. Giving Aaron the extra bit of distance there. Very well played by Aaron. Oh, and Ops has been found in a corner. He's going to be making his way upstairs now. Oh, Ops might be in big trouble here. And he does indeed go down. Lilith at the top of Hawkins. Gets his first down on Ops. Ops going to be making his way. Oh, sorry, not Ops. Lilith is going to be making his way onto the hook. And getting the first hook and the first... Hook state for two points for Lilith's team. Finding Aaron yet again, who has been healed up, but not for long, as he's been injured yet again. Back downstairs. He is carrying the, the, the little med kit there. I wonder if he's got enough charges for a second heal. Oh, unlucky. You love the idea for the M1 there. Aaron does get caught out, though, in the end, even though he made a little bit of distance there. And Lilith gets his second hook of the game. Two generators in the meantime have been completed for Team Aaron. Oh, wow. Straight away. Hens has been found out of nowhere. Oh, he's been caught out again almost. He jumps in a locker. He's waiting. He makes it. He's got him back in the locker again. 
<laughs> just gotta work it in the end. And Hens has fallen. Fallen victim to another hook. His first hook as well. That will be three first hooks and three hook stages for Team Lilith. Again, his way straight back to the hook. Just remember, though, he cannot tunnel. Hot Starver being found right there. Spies from the Shadows is incredibly powerful on this map, you know? I've never really considered that. The value you're getting there from the, from the little notification. Hot Starver does go down indeed. And Lilith is picking up another hook on... The legendary streamer. The legendary personality that is Ots. That will be his second hook on Ots. Lilith's making his way. Weaving and winding in between this map. He does find somebody. But I think he's opting to leave them. In order to come over to this, uh, this pallet that he destroys. Very well done. Picks up Chase to Hens again. Taking him back in here. There's a dropped pallet. There's a bit of a mind game, but he does go down. That will be another hook state for Team Lilith. The flashbang almost coming in, Plutch. Who would that have been from? Was that Aaron? Cheeky devil. Oh, unlucky, not quite. Aaron's extending the chase a little bit here, but it's in a bit of a risky spot. Aaron's opting to leave. Honestly, very, very sensible idea, considering everybody else is uh, going to need to get the unhook. Aaron does hold W there. Very well played. Moves to the next pallet in this building. Or in this room, I guess. And Aaron does go down. Very valiant effort, though. Ots has been... Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, yeah, no. Ots did get unhooked as well. And they have all reset as well while Aaron's been in that chase. Was it dramaturgy? I can't lie. I went silent because I didn't actually know how Hens went down. <laughs> it was dramaturgy, was it? I was like, what? Should have probably looked at their perks. Whoa! What a lunge from Lilith there. g -Burb getting a swipe with the Ellen Ripley. And a down there. Unlucky. g -Burb. We love g -Burb. Absolute sweetheart. Lilith's making his way down. Potentially basement. Doesn't look like it. He's just going to be going for a regular hook. Corner of the map. Lilith is European, but he is currently in North America. So he does have slightly different ping. But um, I did say that that was fine, as this tournament is, you know, obviously a little bit more relaxed, you know. But he is Team USA at the moment. He is an American gamer at the moment. Three people are death hook. Lift's looking for another gamer. Finds, I believe it's G-Burb. And rightly so, he is leaving. Not allowed to tunnel, and he has not done so. He's looking for somebody else. He's not got any information to go off right now. Other than that crow. But also has given him some incredible value. Unlucky. I'm surprised that didn't stun Lilith there. Gens have stopped as well. Yeah, you're right. Very few generators popping at the moment. We need some more gen progression to come in. Tinkerer has actually just come in clutch as well. So we know that a generator is being worked on at the top of main. Or top of the building. Ends taking everybody. Or uh, making sure he's uh, ste steering clear of everybody else. Beautiful little M1 there. Hens doesn't quite make the vault in time. He's going to try and make his way out. Does he make that lunge? He does not. Lilith's got no choice but to make the vault and see if he can make it around. Hens is running away. Does he get that M1? He does. Hens is down, and I believe Hens is dead as well. Rest in pieces. That will be the first kill for Team Lilith. Down to a 3v1, but we have another Tinkerer. We've had a gen pop as well in the meantime. So there could be a fourth generator coming in clutch. It is really, really all to play for. These gamers are playing very, very regimented right now. Ops taking chase away from that generator. Upstairs to that gen that was recently completed. Does get caught out a little bit just on that corner there. Very unlucky. The fourth gen gets popped though. I don't know how close the other gens are, but we shall see. 
Ox does indeed end up going down there to Lilith. Very well played, though, to get that uh, that distance and to allow that. Oh, g -Bub opting for trying to go for the Sabo, but doesn't quite pay off. Oh, that was a high risk, high reward play there, and it just did not pay off, unfortunately, for Team Aaron. As it looks like Aaron is the last person alive. Or it might be g on the second hook. No, it is g on the second hook. Never mind. Aaron's the last person al alive and running, we'll say. Oh, he's just been spotted, though. Whoa! Not even the flashbang came in there. That seems so perfectly timed as well. It just uh, just didn't, didn't blind the Lilith there. It looks like Jiba potentially might be opting to die on hook. Yep, she has indeed. Aaron has one last shot opportunity right now to try and come in clutch for his team with only four gens completed and try and find Hatch and save a hook state from Lilith getting a 12 hook game. Aaron just has to run him around. Looking around. Ooh, that almost came in clutch as well. These lunges are just making my heart stop. So close, so close. Four generators, though. Very, very unlucky there. Well played to both teams there. Oh, we hear the hatch as well. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> There's a the little lunge. Honestly, I wouldn't have put it past me for Lilith to have dropped Aaron and, and given him hatch. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like that's a Lilith thing to do. What a game that was. Unbelievable. GG's to both teams. Very, very well played. We are in. And the blight is spawning in right now. Here we go. Straight off the rip. We've got another spice from the shadows here with Hens. And he gets a super quick first hit on Kamikaze. As they make their way into uh, this room. Straight back out the other way. I was expecting them to stay in that room. But they actually left. They uh, opted to leave. Oh, it's a little bump fest. Oh, and Kamikaze does go down. Hens getting a quite early first hook, in fact, for Team Aaron. Very, very well played. Not much gen progression in the way of uh, Lilith's team at the moment. Gonna see another Blight Rush here. Straight over to the other side of the map, no doubt. Weaving in and out of the corridors. He does see somebody. Who is this? This is Valentina playing the ace. It looks like they are going to be caught up. In this corner of the map, pre-dropping the pallet there. It looks like it's just going to be a little 50-50. A quick down there, though. Hen's coming in with a second hook in very quick succession. This gen's got a lot more progression than I thought it would, but... Not been completed. Hen's just trying to look for a hook to go for. He's opted to go upstairs. Not too many hooks nearby. And that will be the second fresh hook of this matchup. Spice from the shadows giving another aura there. And it looks like Lilith's been caught out here on the Dwight with the little bandana, if, I, if I, uh, <laughs> I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Straight into this room here. It's Hens versus Lilith. Oh! And Hens gets the down. The NA ping from Lilith is not coming in very, very clutch right now. As he does not drop the pallet in time before he gets hit. Ping diff indeed. <laughs> Unlucky Lilith. That is the third fresh hook. Hens is on an absolute roll right now. They haven't actually successfully reset uh, Kamikaze yet as well. They are going to be looking for... Drop straight down. Seeing the ace again. Valentina with the life coming into play there. Running as far away as possible. Two people in chase right now. And it looks like Hens has switched to go for Kamikaze instead. Very well played to fake that out. Do they make it around the corner? They do not. Kamikaze's down again. Hens is absolutely on a roll right now. Still no generators coming in. I'm going to have a quick look and see what the other teammates are doing. It looks like they're on a gen. It's only half done, though. Two gens currently are being worked on, but they're only half done. They're, they're not actually close to getting uh, their first gen done yet. Insane stuff. Back to Hens here. Kicking a generator. 
He does have Dragon's Grip. Bear in mind. Very interesting perk being picked up here. Lilith got caught out, though. Being healed. Or healing himself, I should say. Does not get the hit taken from his, uh, from his teammate. Very, very unfortunate there. Seems to be... It looks like it's fallen apart at the moment, the Team Lilith. A lovely M1 on Squoozy. More spies in the shadows value as well. A pre-drop there coming in from Squoozy. The Quentin. We love a Quentin gamer. Oh, very well played to jump in the locker and bait the swing out. Squeezy is cooking right now. Again, Lilith's team, just to mention, is the, the kind of dark horse team that I'm not really too sure. I've never um, spoken to or, or, or uh, come into uh, conversation with Squeezy, Valentina, or Comicology before. They are all a complete uh, red herring in terms of who, uh, who I know, so they could be absolute juices, and by the looks of things, they're playing pretty well. Leaving a good impression. That is an unreal hit there from uh, from Hens. Oh, not quite the M1. It looked like it should have come into contact there, but it didn't quite. But the mind game coming in. Valentina going down there. <laughs> Red Herring, a DVD reference. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Spammy, you're funny. We got a hook coming in. That is Valentina's second hook. No one... Uh, no one dead at the moment. There's still plenty of time. Oh, and it looks like Hens has kicked the gen again. Still no generators completed for Team Lilith. We've got to see some... Uh, some uh, got to see some pace picked up here from the uh, Survivor team. Oh, what a quick M1 there. They were trying to stop the regression on that generator. Kamikaze with a Kate. A little straw hat Kate. Oh, Hens has found himself in a bit of a pickle. He goes for the swing, but doesn't quite get it. Oh, gets the M1, though. The pre-drop slash pallet stun. Came in a little bit too late there. Unlucky. Hens getting another hit there and another down. And it looks like... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna commentate because it is... Indeed, the first kill. I wasn't 100% sure. That is absolutely unreal. Make it around the corner here. Let's have a little looky. Look, little looky. Little looky. Doesn't quite get the bump on the little filler pallet here. You had to think about maybe going back to hitting the uh, the generator there for Dragon Script, but he does not go there in the end. Mind gaming around this room. Oh, gets the stun in though. Who was that? Not entirely sure, but very well played by them. They didn't even get into a chase. Hens opting to leave the area again. Heading over this way. They get their second generator. I didn't even realize the first gen got done. Second generator's been popped. That is two gens now for Team Lilith. The game has started progressing. Two more generators and they will be tied, assuming Hens gets the 12 hook. It's looking pretty good so far, though, as they're already in a 1v3. Unlucky Squoozy. Getting the pallet stun there. Not getting hit through the pallet this time. Deciding to run around the pallet instead of leaving the area. Oh! A bit of a back and forth here. Does Hens get the hit though? Not quite. Very well played by Squoozy there. Very, very well played. An absolute juicer on Quentin. And it looks like that generator there has been popped with a Tinkerer. So Hens is going to be making his way up. He does not want another gen to pop. If they can help it, I assume he's going to probably swing down. Yep. Leave that generator there. Try and get the... Uh, try and get the hit there. He has indeed. Lilith has been hit. The other generator, though, is Tinker. And if they get these two gens popped, it will be tied up. Not counting sellout points, of course. <laughs> Straight back in here. He's trying to look for the scratch marks. Can't see, though. I think he's lost. And still see some scratch marks, though. Takes a swing, but it's in a room where nobody is there, unfortunately. The third gen got popped for Team Lilith. One more generator. And Tell the lies. Gone. It's gone. Four gens. 
have been popped. They are currently tied. As again, as this is assuming that Hens gets the 12 hooks. They are tied for generator completions. One more and it will be Lilith's team taking the lead. What a down there though from Hens. What an absolute juicer. Juicer M1 there. Lilith didn't quite get the vault in time. Lilith will be going on a hook. Is that Lilith's death hook? I think it might be, you know. I think it's actually going to be a 1v2. I remember he got caught out before. It is indeed. Oh. I don't know if that was a little bit of lag, possibly. One versus two now. It's looking more and more difficult. For Team Lilith to get a fifth and final generator. However, it does look like there will be a generator being worked on by Valentina. Hens very, very safely and securely deciding to kick that generator and run off. This is intense. This is so intense, guys. Uh, it's going to be an M1 there on Squoozy. Squoozy needs to get out of there, and hopefully Valentina's back on that generator as well. Does Squoozy make it? Nope. Hens is actually opting to leave the area to go back to the generator. Very, very well played. Very smartly played. They must have communicated in the swift, in the in the, in the survivor uh, chat that um, Hens was leaving that chase as well, which led to Valentina getting uh, getting found a bit sooner there. Caught in the middle. And then down comes in for Team Aaron. He's going to be looking around. That final, that final kill. I think he does have to, uh, he does have to pick up though. I was going to say, I was getting a bit nervous from there. He does have to pick up. He cannot slug in this, uh, in this position. As there wasn't another, uh, wasn't another survivor nearby. Interesting. And now it's just an RNG showdown for where Hatch spawns. Let's have a little look and see where Scroozy is. Oh! <gasps> Scroozy does hit Hatch, though! And that will be an escape and only 10, I believe, hook states for Team Aaron. We've got Aaron playing Chucky. His pick. Oh boy. It's Maybe Tiff! We've got Tiffany! Lethal Pursuer coming in clutch. He's actually got quite a nice spawn here to start the game off. Gotta be making his way over to the first survivor, which is a... <laughs> oh my, oh my goodness. Oh, I think I'm getting a nosebleed from that hit. What was that? Aaron, Aaron, what are you doing? Straight off the rip gets an insane, insane uh, uh, attack. I forget what it's called. What is it called? The Heidi Ho... Uh, uh, thing. Someone tell me in chat. I can't remember. That thing. <laughs> um, insane. First hook straight off the rip. Lilith down on a hook. Heidi ho. Go. Absolutely unreal. Back into a Heidi ho there. Doesn't get a hit there. Lovely little turn there from Squoozy. Squoozy's been playing incredibly on Survivor. Just having a little look at uh, Aaron's perk build there. I'm very curious at what he's going to do with the, uh, what he's going to do with his, uh, pain res stacks. Is he going to, like, kind of stagger them or try and get them all out of the way super early? Oh, that's very unlucky on Scroozy there. The lack of, um, the, <laughs> the lack of vision because of Dead Dog. It's actually allowed, uh, allowed Tiff to get the, uh, get the hit. Second hook. Zero gen still. There's a little bit of progression. Got a little bit of a scamper there. Made some good, good distance. Love to see it. Aaron making his way to at least another generator. We see some value from the Ruin coming in clutch here. The Kate getting hit nice and early. Kamikaze leaving a little bit too late there. Hopefully doesn't get caught out by the second... Um, second... Uh, oh, Heidi Ho gets the stun. Very well played. Kamikaze making the vault there, heading towards Water Tower. This is actually 
It can be very, very high risk, high reward. But unfortunately, very, very unfortunately, the pallet gets dropped. Aaron does get the, uh, the, the scamper or whatever you call it, the lunge. <laughs> slice and dice! Thank you, Dirty. Sorry, I was struggling. The slice and dice. Love to see it. Aaron opting to break the breakable wall and uh, shack as well. He's catching an ace out in the open. Valentina. Very well played to faint one way and then get the hit. The pallet stun coming in just to get a little bit, hopefully, of more distance. The parting immaculate from Aaron, as you would expect. Tiff struggling to get over that vault there, bless her. He's only a short queen. Another slice and dice. Did not pay off because it looks like Valentina very, very smartly dropped off there instead of heading to the, the, the window. The first gen on the board for Team Lilith as well. What a hit from Aaron! Oh, I, I just... Oh, oh guys. What? Oh, 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 never mind, a flashlight save came in. What a save as well. It's just been cancelled out. Uh, down straight away again, though. That flick from Tiff from Aaron was absolutely unreal, can I just say. Unfortunately, that flashlight save was so good, but just did not, did not get as much time back from the save as he would have hoped. Very well played by Aaron to catch up and get the hook or get the down again straight after. That save was nuts. Aaron's mind gaming a little bit. Very well played to get the slice and dice there. Round the corner. Hate's going to probably vault into Shaq now. There will be a Shaq chase here. The breakable wall is down, but the Shaq pallet is up. Never mind. It's down. <laughs> it dropped there. Kamikaze. Playing it nice and safe. Aaron opting to leave and put pressure on the generator here. Didn't quite get the slice and dice there. Scroozy. Leaving the area. Very well played to get the pre-drop. Moving to the next pallet here. Oh, dropped it the wrong side, but actually it paid off. Aaron didn't get the hit that he expected. Might be a slice and dice again soon. It's just been charged up. And he does indeed get the... Uh, Scroozy injured, the Quentin injured. Quentin making his way to main. The main generator just getting popped as well. And there we go. That is another down for Team Aaron. Very well played, though, by Scroozy. Very good chase. We stand the pride flag as well. Straight on a hook, mid map. Slice and dice. Back to Shaq. Heading over to that generator. I think Aaron's a little bit paranoid about that generator being completed. It is not. It is regressing right now. Looking out for all the other generators. He finds some scratch marks. Actually heading back towards that generator, if we're not mistaken. Maybe not. Did they get in a locker, maybe? <gasps> they did! Maybe Lilith was trying to go for a head on there. I kind of want to find out. Unlucky. Let's have a little quick look. Does Lilith... He does indeed have quick and quiet head on. Very interesting build coming in from Lilith here. Could come in very clutch. You never know. You never know. Vanessa as well. <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> does get the slice and dice on the further survivor that he injured. Scroozy. <gasps> Is that a flashbang save? It's not! That was a frame-perfect flick away, I think, by, uh, by by Aaron there. To prevent that, that was genuinely... It looked like a perfect, like a frame-perfect flick. Aaron confirmed has a hole in the, uh, in the wall beside his desk. <laughs> that was insane. I did not see a single frame there. I did not see a single frame between him looking at the flashbang and then flicking away. <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> That is the first kill, though. Very, very nice slice and dice. And it looks like unlucky Valentina getting caught out there, trying to go the other way. Squoozy is dead. And Valentina's now down. There's only two gens that have been popped for Team uh, Team Lilith. Not a death hook. All right, now. Let's have a little look and see what the other survivors are doing right now. Lilith is just cranking one of these gens to try and get a very all-important point 
But it looks like Aaron's going to be making his way up. Does he get there in time? Whoa! How does he even hit that? Unreal! Right on the end of his slice and dice. A little bit of a mind game coming around here. This pallet is still down. Lilith does, in fact, go down. Does not get the generator done, more importantly. Ruin is still up and regressing that generator as we speak. Genuinely super, super intense right now. Slice and dice straight back up to main. Trying to find where they're resetting, which is probably back where the, uh, the hook is. Doesn't look like they're going to be splitting up. Oh, no, maybe not, maybe not. They've opted to go next to each other. Aaron saw the drop. He's actually waiting in the grass. Very sneaky. And he does indeed get the M... Is he either the M1? Incredible. Very, very well played. You wouldn't have been able to tell otherwise. That was super, super sneaky. Very mischievous. That is the final pain res stack. They're going to have to farm for the unhook there. Very nice hit there. Valentina getting injured. But they both make it away, and it looks like maybe Lilith's going to be going for the unhook here while Aaron is in chase. What an absolutely unreal slice and dice. Aaron's just been on point. Absolutely on point with this killer. As you would expect. Right back into the center of the map again. Lilith, it doesn't like Lilith and Comicorsi are going to be uh, healing. Valentina dead. That's two dead. One versus two now. I got you, Beth. Very, very lethal. Lethal. Gotta be opening up main here. The bottom of main. Interesting. Aaron's looking around, trying to see if he can find where the reset's coming in. I think he spotted somebody. He did. He might have just spotted the top of their head or something. I don't actually know. But they did get the reset in, and it looks like Lilith is going to be taking chase. Heading towards this little filler pallet here. Unlucky. Lost the 50-50 there. Very unlucky there from Lilith. Not got too many more choices now. He's heading into Shack, but there's no pallet left. He's heading into a locker. <laughs> Instead of going for it. They get grabbed. I was thinking he was going to maybe wait to go for a go for a head-on stun or something. Like, maybe make it work. Unfortunately not, though. But that is a kill. There's a third kill. And now it is down. Kamikaze getting Shaq. Uh, getting hatched, sorry, at Shaq. Aaron denies. But it looks like Kamikaze had adrenaline, I believe. Unless it was another perk. And uh, back healthy. I don't know if there's a whole lot more that Kamikaze, Kamikaze can do, but... Unlucky. Aaron has absolutely pulled out a masterclass with Chucky. Or Tiffany, I should say. G G's all round. That was a 12 hook. And I think it was only two generators that got done. Hop straight in. Lilith is going to be the killer this time, as we're going to be seeing Hens, g -Burb. Aaron and Otz, of course, again, all on the Survivor team for Team Aaron. Lilith playing for the Chucky. I think he's got the Prestige outfit on. Very well played. Getting an early hit on Aaron there. Ops to vault inside Shaq. Aaron's making the distance towards main, though, so Lilith is actually going to be dropping off and leaving him injured for now. Very well played by Lilith to get the slice of dice around the corner of War Tower on Ots Dava. Chucky does look like they're stuttering a little bit. Shall I quickly... I don't know if I should. I'll quickly try it. We'll quickly try it. No. I think it's just a ping thing. Sorry, guys. But yeah, Ots has gone down just outside Shack. That will be the first hook for Team Lilith. I'm surprised that Lilith didn't opt to go and put um, Ots inside the uh, basement. Good old spectator bug. Please bear in mind, it could just be because of um, Lilith playing in North America at the moment. He's on NA ping. Um, people are aware of this, and uh, it was agreed that you know, it was fine that he could take part while playing in North America. Oh, that's super unlucky. 
Hens actually misplaying, but getting super, super lucky not to get hit there by the Chucky slicing dice. The finesse coming in as well. Unlucky, unlucky. Bolting in there. Gonna break the breakable wall. Keeping the chase up. Seeing some uh, loud noise notifications coming around. Not quite sure what's going on over there, but we're staying in uh, the eyes of Chucky to see what's going on. See what Lilith's up to. Unlucky. Very well played by Hens to drop that pallet there. Have a little look and see. Another pallet's done from Hens. Very well played. Losing the chase here. It looks like the first generator is going to be completed here by Team Aaron. While Lilith opts to continue chasing Hens down War Tower. He's going to go into his slice and dice now. It does look like it. Very well played to get the slice and dice hit. <laughs> Snitches get rewards. We'll have to check with the admin team um, whether it's a banned combo. It could very well be, bear in mind, um, that some streamers that are taking part in this tournament are allowing their own communities to donate to be able to choose what perks they pick, which could mean penalties, and maybe it's an intentional thing because of the donation that came in um, for the fundraiser. It could be a fundraiser-induced uh, reason. Lilith was allowed to do that and move away. Very well played. Unlucky. Aaron opted to go upstairs. Lilith getting a little bit paranoid about this hook here. About this, uh, uh, this pallet here. Oh, and that's an incredible pallet stun. Very unlucky there. By Lilith. Very, very unfortunate. Gonna try and pick up the pieces and get back on track and head to Hens. Does he make it before Hens gets to the pallet? You'll see. Does get to the pallet. It's a bit of a mind game, though. Hens does win the mind game. Hens leaves the area, but Lilith does get the down. Very, very well played. That will be Lilith's second hook so far. They've done two generators, though. So it's going pretty well so far for Team Aaron. A quick M1, though, on... The wonderful G-Bird. Whereabouts is she going to be heading? Outside, lovely quick vault. Heading around outside main, I can only assume. Very much so. Does Lilith opt to go for the slice and dice? Oh, wow. Turned inside. Did not quite get around that last part there. <laughs> and then G-Bird becoming a bartender for a couple of seconds before ultimately going down. But very, very well played by G-Bird. <gasps> the flashbang! Coming in clutch! G-Burb lives the seal of a day! Lilith, that is the second time Lilith has been uh, caught out by either a flashbang or a flashlight. But a very, very quick recovery there. Very well played by Lilith. Forget that. Coming in clutch. Picks up straight away again. And gets a very, very deserved hook in the end. Almost a second flashbang! That was naughty. That was a naughty play, that was. Crikey. But it did not pay off. Lilith luckily got away with it. Aaron is getting caught up now, being injured. I wonder if he's left himself 99, potentially. Should we have a little look? <laughs> does look like he's running around towards the vault here. Lilith does not catch up, and Aaron does, in fact, get the vault in. Might be worth Lilith breaking this wall. He does indeed. Saves a little bit of time. He did see Aaron drop out and head towards main, but he is dropping chase and heading back to this generator. <laughs> Having a little look around to see if he can find anybody. He's head back. He does down g who I believe was most recently unhooked. So I think he might have to leave g on the floor here now as they were healing under hook. Going to be chasing hens instead. Very, very nice slice and dice. Hens making his way over to the shack. Running around the outside. Do you reckon he goes for the vault? The 50-50. Oh, he hugs the corner next to the locker, but does not pay off for him. Lilith gets the 50-50 correct and also gets the uh, the swipe in. He's going for the basement. 
It's the first basement hook. This could genuinely, this could be a game changer here. Basement being min-map is always a bit of a risky play for uh, for survivors to work around. Burp has been fully healed up. But that is A-OK. -okay. Seen some faint scratch marks looking around. G-Burp and Aaron are in the corner trying to reset. But Aaron uh, dodging the attack with Lilith going the, uh, the, the opposite way. Aaron is injured and fighting for his life right now. But gets the 50-50 correct, gets the pallet stun as well, and gets a little bit more distance. Lilith's got to wait for the scamper, but going back to main, very, very smart by Aaron. Drops chase. Heads back to Shaq. Gonna try and find anybody. He finds Otz. And then he leaves Otz. <laughs> He's looking around. Hens in basement. Going straight back to Hens. Ott's going to be taking a hit there. Very, very smart. Very well played there. And now Lilith is going to take chase to Ott's instead. One point deduction on Team Lilith as Pain... Uh, Pain... Sorry, Pain Res Grim is a banned combo. Due to com uh, miscommunications, Aaron says. No worries. Yeah, I think it might have just been loose knowledge that someone thought it was uh, three slowdowns. Not a problem. Another M1 coming in now. There are two on the floor, so Lilith does have to pick up, and he has done. Perfectly fine. That will be another hook for Team Lilith. It's going not too badly, actually. The more points here during this uh, this killer game, the better. He'll be looking for Ots here. He does find Ots next to the generator. Looks like Hens and G-Bub have reset. Two on hook at the same time, though, is a pretty good position for uh, Lilith to be in. He actually sees both survivors running this way. g -Burb is going to try and take aggro, but Lilith is not falling for it as he's going to be trying to find hens, maybe running around the outside of main? Was indeed. Trying to protect at all costs, though. He's heading back here. g -Burb. He's back and forthing. Gotta be a bit careful not to be staying too long around the uh, around the hook. A very nice M1 there. Very unlucky to G-Burb. Lilith is taking up chase now, though. There will be unhooks coming in from the other side of the map by Hens. G-Burb can just delay as much as possible. That would be great. Unlucky, though. It is a down, but it will be enough. Enough time wasted for the other survivors to get unhooked and hopefully maybe start getting reset as well. Hook number seven. Coming in. Not death hook yet, though. All survivors still alive. Two of them injured, though. It is still very much all to play for. Every point counts, remember. Yeah. This charging up the slice and dice and does get the M1 on the hens. That was unreal. Beautiful attack there. Gonna be taking chase up to main hens. Very, very rightly so. Making the, uh... The most of this main building. This breakable wall isn't opened up inside here. Hens does lose chase here as well. Oh, doesn't get the scamper. But I think Hens thought that he did. And he in fact doesn't, so he does go down. Very, very unlucky. But that is a death. First death in Team Aaron, and that will be Hens taking the team down to a one versus three now. Slowing the game down drastically. Everybody's around here. And Lilith, very rightly so, goes to the injured g -Burb. Can now get a second kill. Rest in peace, g -Burb. It is a one versus two now. There's only three gens that have been completed. Although it is an extra gen from what Lilith's team completed on their survivor side. If Lilith can get 12 hooks here, it will really help for the total standings. You never know, you never know. Sorry about the ads, gamers. Alrighty. Right around here. Oh, it's getting found here. Taking the chase to the corner of the map. I've just realized a fourth generator has been completed. Which 
really does benefit yeah. Team Aaron. Very nice. Flush. That is the third kill. Aaron and Lilith are going to be facing off to try and see who gets the hatch quicker. It looks like Aaron is nowhere to be seen. He's going to be opting for the exit gate, though. The hatch does get closed straight away. No Ed coming into play by Lilith. Going to have to probably try and patrol the two exit gates. A little bit unawares of where everybody could be. He's looking around. He doesn't see anybody. Doesn't see much progression right now. I wonder where Aaron is off to. Have a little look. He's hiding away. It's back and forth and right now. Got to be careful not to get spotted at this uh, this exit gate. Does get spotted. Does he get the exit gate open in time though? It doesn't look like he will. So he's opting to leave. And he doesn't quite make the distance for the slice and dice. And that will be the two bonus hooks that Lilith and Lilith team would love to have for a 12 hook game on Chucky. GG. Well played to both teams. That was easy. We are loading in the legendary Ops Darva is going to be playing Nurse. It looks like we've got uh, Akua in the lobby. Um, instead of, I assume that's instead of Glider? Switching out. Ops finding a couple of people instantly with Lethal Pursuer. Making his way back towards the Saga. Again, this is Family Residence 1. This is the Spirit Family Residence, not the only one. We will look to see. Might be a bit of end-to-end -end gameplay here. We shall see. We shall see. Heading towards this four lane here. Looking around. Can't see anybody. Did see somebody right at the corner then. Just at the end. Opted to head back this way. Keeping the distance. Holsam playing this incredibly well. Very, very well played. In chase. I don't, apparently we're in chase. I'm not hearing any... Uh, not hearing anything. Apparently we're out of chase. Uh, what's going on? Let me quickly... Maybe... What's going on? We're not hearing any chase music. Maybe it's a chase bug. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. We will keep playing anyway. It's super duper quiet though. Maybe we could watch from the from the perspective of... Uh... We are in chase. Yeah. Spectator bug. That'll be it. So they are in chase. It's all good. Playing as normal. It's just... Uh... Unlucky there. Kua going down. First of all... By the Ots Darva Earth. How are the gens looking like they're going along? They're almost going to complete the first generator. By the looks of things, two gens are super close. Yeah, never mind. Three generators are always close to being done. Very, very well played. And then we're going to be taking Ollie. Ollie's taking chase towards uh, Shack now. I see some uh, spies from the shadows. I see some uh, Bloods of Rage, I believe that is. Interesting little perk builds here. No slowdowns. Two gens have been popped already. Oh, unlucky. Head back this way. Seeing uh, an unhook come in. Ots is going straight back to the unhook. Obviously not allowed to tunnel, so we'll be going for Holsam instead. The Saga. The Saga Gamer. Never mind. Oh, no. He is deciding to go to Sam. Looking for Sam around the map. It does look like they're going to be uh, trying to pursue. Not finding anybody right now, but they're hot on Sam's heels. Coming in super close. They're in chase now. The lunge not quite coming in for Opstarva. As Holsam takes chase into main building. Past the little Oni mask. Near basement. Quite a difficult place to maybe get chased. Looks like. Still making their way out. Ops still trying to find Holsam. Very well played to get the down there. 
On hole, Sam. That will be... A hook and a first hook, I believe. First hook for Hole Sam is a second hook for Team Arts. Very, very nice. It's so eerie not hearing the chase music, you know. It's really off-putting. <laughs> Alrighty. And now I'm seeing the nurse head hovering over my eyes. Like a little hood. Like a little hoodie. Spice from the Shadows Value coming in clutch. We see an unhook and a heal. Ada is getting chased, though. Hella Lara getting chased. Using the life, trying to get as much value as possible from it, but unfortunately goes down super duper quickly by Arts. Very well played by Arts. Unlucky there by Heather. Very nice try. Straight on a hook. Ollie, meanwhile, doing the gen in Shack. It is like 75, 80% done. Almost getting completed here. Head back towards Arts here as he goes into main building. Looks around, sees some scratch marks. Very, very good blink, but very unlucky. Not quite getting the, uh, the the M1. As much as it looked like that they would have. Very unfortunate there. It looks like they should be picking up. Chase in a second. Once Ots gets over to this four lane again. The fourth generator, I believe Ollie has just completed now. The team Ollie Bot. Who uh, is being super stealthy around here, but gets hit. By a blink through the wall. It's gonna try their best to try and block out as much. Use as much um, foliage as possible to try and break line of sight and stop the nurse being able to blink through. Oh. Very good movement here. Archdarva getting an incredible blink though. Down on Kuwa. But it looks like all the gens are done. Just like that, we've got ourselves an endgame situation. Very, very, very rapid generators being done. Filthy gen rushes. <laughs> Some spies value there. Sneaking away. Very well played. Unlucky Heather. Probably unawares of the uh, spies value. A nice blink through there to get the down. Ops getting the pickup. Very, very sensible. Checked for the exit gate progression. Did not see anything. Gonna have a little look further into the map here. Does pick up on an Ollie bot here. We're gonna probably switch to Ollie in the chase. Who looks like he wants the aggravation. Instead of taking the, the holding W, he wants to waste the time. Unlucky there. Tried to buffer the uh, the nurse, second nurse blink. Ops went for the lunge, but did not pay off. However... Ollie's exit gate is not open. He's in a bit of a tight spot here. And he does go down. Ox is going to be leaving the area and heading towards the other survivors now. Which about this way? It looks like they're all going to try and leave. It would make most sense for them to. Unlucky. Didn't get the second blink though. Ox instead is going to head straight back. Make sure he can confirm this hook on Ollie. I believe it is Ollie's first hook as well. If I'm not mistaken, we'll quickly switch and check. It is. So this is a fresh hook. So that'll be double points for the first hook and two health states if they don't come and unhook him. They might maybe try and risk getting the unhook. We shall see. We shall see. Oh, Ben, did you get some dominoes? Very nice. <laughs> Heather looks like she's going to... Oh, it looks like everybody's going to be leaving. And that is all she wrote. I'm surprised that they didn't um, let Ollie try and 4%, honestly. They all left. Maybe just to try and play it super safe. And that will be a one kill, seven hooks for Team Aaron. And we're loading in Ollie Bot. Playing the nurse for Team Ollie. Here we go. He spawned straight in. He has a lethal pursuer. No slowdowns again. It's a very aura-oriented build. Aura-oriented. Get it? Like, huh? You know, yeah, sorry. Terrible. And we're going to be getting in chase. Again, chase music being a bit bugged at the moment, but that's fine. Very, very unlucky. Maybe we can switch to hens here. So we can hear the chase music, and it seems more intense and cool. It looks like hens' pathing is immaculate, by the way. Very well played to juice Ollie around the corner of Shaq and make his way back the other side 
more into the map. That is a very, very good play there. Ollie's still in chase. He's going to be taking as much time as he can. And he doesn't get the blinking time, unfortunately. Ken's being very, very patient, waiting it out. Making his way over here. Back to Shaq again. As much time as possible being wasted. He's holding W and he doesn't get the hit. Ollie! It's getting very, very unlucky right now. Hens is incredibly skilled at this game, as you all know. Very well played. Hens heading straight back to Shaq again. Meanwhile, if I quickly have a check, first generator got done. New gen being started. G Bird working on a generator. As we speak. Oh, he makes it back through. He gets the stun. The balance landing coming in clutch, and Ollie whiffs once more. Unlucky Ollie. Hens is playing his absolute heart out right now. This is insane. Insane from Hens. I think Ollie has actually dropped chase. He has. Oh, oh. I saw a, I saw a flashbang blind there, I think. That must have been Aaron's doing, considering he's getting chased now. We'll have a little look and see what's happening on Aaron's perspective. Hens is playing immaculately right now. Two gens coming in clutch now. Team Aaron are absolutely playing very, very well. Taking him back towards the edge of map. Aaron getting hit though by Ollie. Not quite the movement he was expecting. But he does make his way to a pallet. Is there anything he can do about this? Breaking line of sight, I guess. Gotta be very careful. He does not in, in the end. Ollie does get the pick up. Oh, wrong way. This way. And that will be the first hook on the board. We're off to a good start. Let's go. Let's go. Everybody cheer for Ollie in chat. Bless him. He's doing good. He's doing good. He's doing good. He is up against an absolutely star studded team. You've got to remember. And Nurse is not his regular pick. Third gen getting completed now as G Burb gets into a chase. Switch over to G Burb and see what she's going to be doing here. Oh, very well played from Jeeva. Beautiful juices. Looked like she was going to drop the pallet. She faked it. Delayed the uh, the second blink. Unlucky there. Tried going for the spin. Doesn't get a whole lot of distance from this blink. And Ollie does get the very quick secondary down there. Looks like Ollie's going to be picking up straight away there. Getting another fresh hook now. It's the second hook. And also second fresh hook on the board for Team Ollie. Straight back over this side of the map, and it looks like it will be Hens back for round two here. We see him vault towards uh, edge map, I think, again. Heading to the LT wall. Ollie is still looking to see if he can find him. He's headed back the other way. Hens continues making a little bit of distance, finds his way to a pallet. Round a rock. And it looks like he's given Ollie the slip. Very, very good movement there. Heading straight back in. And he just about gets the medium vault and just manages to slip away again. Hens is Ollie's kryptonite right now. Hens is playing incredibly well. Very, very well played. Unlucky once again. Opted to drop the pallet now. Try and make a little bit more distance here. Heading edge map. Looks like Ollie is going to be double downing right now. He is definitely going to be continuing to go. Well, Hens, he does get his first hit. Maybe that has shattered the psychological plays of Hens. Oh, no! He had the right read, but he didn't get the hit. He hit the generator. So unfortunate there from, uh, from Ollie. But he does get the down in the end. Hens getting stuck on the wall, however. No, 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 no! Aaron denies the hook from Ollie by getting the flashbang. Aaron is incredible with the flashbang saves. Love to see it. Fourth gen popped now, and it looks like we're going to be seeing Ollie getting a down on G Burb, going to somebody else now. Looking out to see if he can stop this last generator from coming in clutch. Makes his way straight back. He's got to look around. He's got to be careful. He is more than welcome to look around. He does see scratch marks after all. Hens does get caught out, but now he has to pick up within the next five seconds. And that does include coming back here. He has to pick up right now. He cannot slug any longer. 
Even if the uh, the generator does get popped, it is just because of the two stops, the two drops. A little iframe there from Ollie does allow him to get away and get the hook, but the last gen did get done in time. Unlucky from Aaron, but very well played. Ollie did get a very deserved hook there. Hens is still down. He's looking around to see if he can find anybody else. He does. Very, very nearby. He is allowed to chase, and uh, it looks like Hens has been picked up as well, so Aaron is going to be edge map. Ox very, very well played. Goes down for G Burn and gets the unhook. Again, this is completely fine. Ollie is allowed to continue uh, chasing, as it is uh, all, all the gens have been popped. Gonna try his best. Aaron was lurking around in the shadows, though. He does now have to pick up, I believe. Get himself the uh, hook now. Lovely. Bit of a snowball time, potentially. The end game is where it all comes clutch, and that is the kill on G Bird, which means it's only a 1v3, which makes this whole end game very, very interesting. He's opting to go for the ace, who is the. That's uh, so a hens. If we can switch to hens now. There we go. He is injured. And edge map, and I don't know if there's an exit gate open right now. Oh, got the slip again. Just the right read. They got the exit gate open, and Hens looks like he needs to really try and get over to the other side of the map if he can. Maybe both his teammates are trying to heal. Oh, Starver's on the floor. Is that a plot twist play? What a play! What a spin by Hens! Oh my goodness, you just haven't seen anything like it. What? How's he done that? The movement god. He gets another swing and a miss from Oli. And he gets a little bit more distance. Is he going to make it to the exit gate, though? I don't know. I think he's going to have to make his way somewhere else. I cannot believe it. And the balance landing. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Ollie got so unlucky on the end there from that statue hit. And we're back over here, but it's still all to play for. Ots is still injured. Looking to see if he can make the escape. Oh, Ollie might have... He might have... I think he might have quit and missed. He can still get... He can still very much get... Uh, get. Well, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. You know what, Ollie? I've got to give you credit, because... There's no outplaying hens in that situation, honestly. He did a, a very valiant effort. Honestly, can we give Ollie some props? Four P100s. All these juices in the lobby. Getting straight into the game with Glider. He's going to see what he can do. He is, or, or at least was, a Billy main once in a while. Got an interesting little... Uh... <laughs> Heads brought the offering, did he? Does he get the curve? He doesn't quite. He does bump. And it looks like g Burb gets away. He lives to see another day. Uh, what did I just see on the... Did I just see foot charms? Am I seeing charms of feet on the hook? Keep an eye out for those guys. What a hit to g Burb there. The insta down. Get the first down there. Very well played. Very patient. Beautiful 90. He's <laughs> got a feet charm. <laughs> and he's off. Look at that turn. I can almost feel like he's going to... If he hasn't played in a while, I can almost feel like he's going to do it in the uh, in the course of the time. Oddstarver getting a beautiful down there. I think. Getting the body block in there. Means that he can go for this tunnel. The body block would make it unfair otherwise. But this is an understandable down. This is an allowed down. And that will be hook number two. g -Burb's already on the death hook here. Got to be careful now. Straight into another chase. It looks like uh, there's going to be hens now getting chased. Let's see what he does. Oh, he just slipped off the side there, but didn't get the connection that he wanted. Very unlucky. The feathering. The feathering is immaculate from Glider. Do you see how close that is to being... you see how close that is to being uh, initiated, the sprint? 
Unlucky. You gotta remember, Billy on this map is an incredibly difficult time. Very well played for Hens to go back onto the pallet. Hold back in, head into the room again. Two gens have been completed now. Another pallet out of the way. The more pallets that get chomped, the better. Unlucky there, not quite the glide. Heading into library now. It looks like we've spotted Aaron as well, though. Whereabouts were they heading? Not entirely sure. Caught in the crossfire a little bit there. Unlucky glider bump in that corner there. If he'd have made it through, he might have even gotten a long-range little attack over there. Gonna try and situate himself and find somebody else now. Looking around, he can't find where the scratch marks are originating from. Still looking around. Have a little look. We see a quick vault from Aaron. G-Bub wandering around. Hens on a gen. And Ott's now just starting a gen as well. Finding the Aaron in chase. Oh, not quite. Billy has a lot of snowball ability, so it's really all to play for all the way up until the last gen gets popped. There is so much potential for a snowball. Unlucky. There's so many objects on this map to bump on. It's a lot easier said than done. I think Glider's doing a lovely job so far. It's a very, very bad map for Billy. What a curve, though. He almost actually got Aaron. Oh, Aaron just makes it out. I think, would that have been balanced? I'm not entirely sure. It was not balanced. But he does go down. That is Aaron taking his first hook. In favor of Team Ollie. While the third generator comes in. Very well played. Glider is terrifying on Billy, you know. Imagine that, like, previous one would have hit. Oh, that'd have been unreal. Unreal. Having a little look through. He's starting to accelerate now. Somebody's pre-ran. Aaron on hook. G-Bub still cranking her generator. It looks like Ops is going to be taking chase now. Glider doesn't quite make it around to go for the uh, to go for the 90. Go for the little chainsaw sprint. Ops is doing very well to keep uh, keep the chase at bay. Oh, doesn't quite. He sits in the corner, gets the stun. Very well played by Ostava. Not the frosty eyes. Gliders looking at him in disbelief. <laughs> a fourth generator coming in. G-Burb coming in clutch with a gen juicing. Picking up Ostava again in a chase. Let's see what happens here. He's in a bit of a tricky spot. Ah, and he has been caught out, unfortunately. But I do see somebody lurking. It does not pay off, though. Aaron's flashbang. Missing, luckily. Glider getting the, the hook in the corner over here, hopefully. Assuming no other people are going to try and stop it. Unlucky, unlucky. There we go. another fresh hook there. Up Starver being hit. I must say, Glider is putting on a tremendous performance on Larry's. Very well done, very well done. All generators done. Should we have a little look around? Oh, never mind. I was going to say, have a look and see what gens progressed. All gens are completed now. It is up to Glider to see if he can snowball the existing hook. Making his way around. Feathering like an absolute professional. Unlucky, unlucky. Oh, not quite. Zero perks? Do you know what? I didn't even clock onto that. He's got feet charms, zero perks. He has raw dogged Larry's. <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta give him credit. You really do. Exit gate has been opened. Hens is still in chase. It looks like he's trying to get some distance here. 
Might have been lost here, but maybe not. Hunting the scratch marks right now. Gonna have a look and see if we can find where uh, Hens is on the map. Oh, he's been caught out! But he still somehow winds away! Hens getting the much needed vault, but does he make it around the corner in time? He does, and he gets the vault back down into main. Getting the distance that's very, very much needed. Now, where is Glider? That's what we want to know. Has he been run? Or will he catch off guard? I think he's actually lost him. I think he's fully lost. He's looking around. I don't think he realized he got the vault, maybe. That's super, super unfortunate from Glider. I don't know if they all made it out. Yeah, it looks like they all have. Very, very unlucky. They're all putting down their items. Oh, Aaron's... No, never mind. Aaron wants... <laughs> Aaron wants the add-on. <laughs> he wants the offering. Oh, not the offering, the flashlight. Final match of the night. Hens 333's Hillbilly against Team Ollie. Spawning in on Larry's. He has... Four perks on. He's not going for the no perk build. He's got barbecue and chili. Trying to spy out some survivors once he gets a hook. I think that's machine learning. Dragon's grip. Plaything. Interesting. Oh, almost getting an early down there, but it looks like Whole Sam just slipped through there. She does get the vault in time as well. Can I just say, Whole Sam has put in an absolute shift tonight. Played amazingly. Very, very well played. Very well played. Oh, sorry. Unforeseen. Ignore me. <laughs> I don't know my fruits. Thanks for correcting me, gang. I've only got 7,000 hours in the game. I need to, you know, I need to play more, I guess, to learn them. <laughs> Interesting little build. Another pallet drop coming in. Another pallet, uh, well, destruction, I guess. Oh, didn't go for the vault. Holsan is playing this so well. She get around the corner. She does. <laughs> All the false info. Oh, lovely down on uh, on, on the whole Sam after that. Very well played. Good chase. And you know what? We're back at the chase again because the, <laughs> the flashbang save comes in. First generator done for Team Ollie as well. Off to a tremendous start. Absolutely no map pressure from Hens. There's nothing he can do. He's got unforeseen though, so he is undetectable. What? He just, he just, what did, what? Okay, yep. Ollie getting caught off guard though by the unforeseen perk pick. Out of absolutely nowhere, just has nothing. He can't do anything. Indoor stealth perk. Very, very juicy pick for a perk for Team Aaron. Let's have a little look around and see what people are doing. They've just done another generator. Glider's going to be uh, coming his way to the uh, unhook on Ollie. Looks like Heather's in chase now, though. Going for the pre-drop. Hens is already leaving the area. Decided not to go for the chase on Heather. Heather is just too strong. Oh, it looks like Glider's going to be getting picked up here. Can he make it? They are feathering for dear life. Hens does bump, unfortunately. Oh, what's going to happen here? Oh! Not quite! That looked like he should have hit! Oh my goodness gracious! Glider's having a... An incredible game! Looking outside the window as well! And eventually... Does go down... Hens is very, very strong, Billy. Well, well played, guys, honestly. I'm loving this match. It's obviously going to be a rough time on Billy when you're playing on Larry's, but both teams have done a very, very good job. Well played, well played. Let's have a little look and see where everybody else is now, then. We've got Ollie halfway done on a generator. Heather is stealthing away. Um, probably recovering her exhaustion. We have Holstan making her way around. Still injured. Hopefully that won't be too much of a detriment. Hens has found Ollie, though. 
Opted not to kick the generator, which is interesting. Going straight in for the chase, keeping the map pressure up. Oh, Ollie does dip into one of the corners, but doesn't get caught. Drops the pallet. Pallet broken. And this is going to try and catch up now. This is a very, very vile setup that Ollie has right now with the double vaults. And Hens, very rightly so, honestly, does decide to leave. Maintain a bit of map pressure. Oh my goodness! Hens, what are you doing tonight? He's just built different. Just out of nowhere, just goes in for a... a, a just a... <laughs> Insane. And that's a secondary hit there. It's a men's state here. I'm not entirely sure why. Oh, they're panicking a little bit now. And somehow, Glider does not go down. Lara and men's state, do they get... They do. Ollie's been lurking behind though. Is he going to get caught out? He is. Ollie goes down. Whole Sam's still on hook. Glider's in men's state. Heather might need to get the unhook. If she's not already. Very well played. The unhook's coming in. So there are not two people on hook. Hen's doing a very, very good job of managing the game, managing the map pressure. And some insane snipes. Insane snipes on Larry's. Whole Sam's been caught off guard! And does go down. I think. Maybe Hens thinks it was a uh, a tunnel, possibly. Might be might be slugging for the sake of the tunnel, possibly. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think he's doing it too slug. I think, uh, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to wait and see. Oh no, the vault into basement. Glider's got nowhere to go other than the basement. Jump in a locker. Waste as much time as possible. Glider fell into the abyss, and that will be a basement hook. For Team Aaron, Hens, I think, has taken this uh, taken this set now with the fifth hook for the team. Still no kills yet, though. Ollie's been unhooked. They might be resetting now, but it looks like Holsam is back up. And back down again. There we go. Very, very unlucky there from Holsam. Getting caught off guard as uh, they just started running off. Very nice. Hens is playing a very, very strong game. Putting a lot of map pressure out right now. This generator is so close to being dumb, it's not quite there. Almost got the snipe on Heather. Such a good read from Hens. Oh, that's so unlucky. She ran into a corner and it just looked like she might have gotten away with it, but right at the end of the sprint. Clips the end of the chainsaw onto Heather and Heather does go down. I think that is a fresh hook. It is indeed. That is, I believe, four fresh hooks now. Maximum fresh hook points for Team Aaron. Aaron's going to kick this generator. Get the unforeseen value. Heading back this way. Oh, he almost found a, he found a route through, but he didn't find a survivor. Looking to see who's next. Everybody's injured. They haven't healed again. I wonder if Hens isn't bothering to do the uh, the M1s. He's going to try and catch people off guard with this unforeseen. Not finding anybody yet. But it is very strong. Very, very strong value. It's just gone now. But he does find very lucky timing. An M1 on Glider who got so unlucky there with the positioning. Nothing he could have really done. He didn't know. None the wiser. I think that might be Glider's death hook, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if I've been keeping track very well. But that is the first death on Team Oli. Eight hooks, one kill so far. They've almost gotten this generator done, and it looks like Hen's just recovering his unforeseen again to reactivate it. Back into overdrive. Listen and out. Some generators are super close by. Heather getting caught off guard by the undetectable. That is so, so unlucky. No again, nothing you can really do about that. Bless her. So sneaky from Hens. Sneaky, sneaky. They've just got rid of the undetectable now. It looks like they're both double stacking the gen. They do get the fourth generator. 
for Team Ollie as well. Very well played. The more gens, the better, obviously, for uh, the survivor side. Every point counts in this tournament. If they lose the set, it does not mean they've lost the tournament. Another down there from Ollie. Very, very unlucky. I feel like Ollie got a little bit hard done by this uh, this uh, this set, honestly. He's um, had a bit of a rough time running into the killer at a bad position, not really having uh, much opportunity to get into chases. Big love to Ollie. Machine learning coming into play. I was waiting for this. That last generator got completed. Undetectable and a haste bonus. This is where the end game is going to come in super clutch. It's a 1v2. They do find hole, Sam. And Hens gets the down. It's going to go for the pickup and go for the... Um, go for the... Hook and the confirmed kill straight away. There's not really a hook too close by. We'll have a look and see where Heather is right now. He's running in, Matt. Maybe looking for... Oh, she's jumping in a locker. Very, very sensible. Very sensible. Considering the... Uh... Oh, no! She got out a little bit too early, I think. And I think Hen saw the uh, the aura. But it's all to play for still. There is still Hatch. We're going to go on to see where Heather is. See if she can get herself Hatch. And deny a 12 hook from Ollie. Go on, Heather. I'm not biased or anything, but I would love to see her escape. Hook's just come back there. Uh-oh. And we're in a chase now. We'll stay on Heather. Hens is trying his absolute best. And he just... There is just not much you can do about that. Hens just... An absolutely unreal curve. To get the 12 hook... For Team Aaron, what a matchup. GG's all round. That will be all she wrote for today's games. Holy moly. What an absolutely incredible matchup. Hens played incredibly. This is going to be an interesting game. Look at those P100s. Straight in on Wrecker's Yard. And we have Mr. Alf himself getting, making his way over. Looking at his build right now, very, very textbook from what we've been seeing um, throughout the other the other matches uh, from yesterday. We've got a Corrupt just to kind of block the three furthest generators. He's having a little look around. He has spotted a survivor, some scratch marks. Nearby, Lilith has been spotted. Looks like he's opting to leave the area. They're going to get into a chase right now. It does look like it. We're not getting any chase music, though. Very interesting. Might switch over and see Lilith POV. He does get hit nice and early. And then we have, actually, a blocked pallet as well. So he's being forced back into the map. Does he actually make the second hit? It looks like Alf cancels his ability. And that will be an M1 and a first down very, very quickly. The Quentin coming in. Not quite getting a flashlight save. Unfortunately, going to be making his way down into basement with Lilith for the first hook of the day. The Delhi curse! The deliverance curse! I didn't even notice! Very, very unfortunate there from Lilith. Not going to be getting his Delhi value. He's down to three perks as Alf kicks the first generator. Instantly switches over to the Kate Komakorzi, I believe that is. Who's going to be making their way over to this blocked pallet as well. Very, very strong perk to be running around this map as well. Blocks the nearby pallets on the map. Balance landing coming in right now. Going to be trying to make an escape. It looks like Alf is actually going to be making his way back to basement now. Where the heal is coming in. Quentin going to be getting here. Obviously, cannot be... Uh, cannot be... Uh-oh. 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 I don't know what that means. But it looks like Alf's going to be teleporting back upstairs. The first generator coming in. I believe Valentina picked that first generator. I oh, completed that first generator, sorry. Looks like the ace. Valentina's going to be taking a hit. For the cape there. Squoozy back going back downstairs to heal the Lilith. It looks like Comma Corsi's going to be getting chased now. Towards the edge of the map, up to the bus. Fakes the vault. Goes for a slow vault, but it looks like Alf's positioned his, uh, his clone just outside. Gets the down. A team JRM. That'll be the second hook. And another fresh hook as well, which means we should see some Grim Embrace value. All the generators blocked. There we go. In his way around. They're trying to reset in Shaq, but they're going to get caught out. Only one hit. 
by Alf with that uh, with that orb attack. I forget the name of it. <laughs> Is he going to go for a second one here? It does look like he's going to try, but Squoozy does dodge it in time. And actually does uh, does get the uh, the fishbowl off of his head. He gets unwound. Squoozy's going to be getting chased now. Heading back towards mid-map. But it looks like Alf's opted to leave the area. Coming straight back over to the unhook. Putting as much pressure on where the resets are happening as possible. As it looks like Valentina is going to be getting chased now. Very nice movement there from Valentina. Makes their way back to the filler pallet. Alf does get a uh, does get an orb on the head of Valentina. UVX, sorry, that's the one. I couldn't figure the name. <laughs> a good dodge there, but it does look like they're going to go down from an M1. Very, very unlucky. Well done to dodge the attack, but they do go down anyway. Alf is going to be getting a third fresh hook. The team JRM. Looking around to see. He's not got too much map pressure with his clones around the map. He might have to look to maybe drop one across the other side of the map. He's seeing some scratch marks, though. Looking to see who to go for. It looks like he's going to go for the Quentin. Very unlucky not to get the bounce there, but it looks like Squoozy took an incorrect little route there. Very unlucky there. And that will be another down there. Alf putting out a very, very large amount of map pressure for Team JRN. Have a little look around here. Valentine is probably looking for another hook. Comma calls he has been blocked off with the Deadmans. It looks like Lilith is going to be taking up chase now. Unlucky not to get the dodge in there. But a very, very nice well-timed stun there as well. All the while, getting rid of the UVX. Alf is winding it up. Is he going to get hit again? It does look like he is. He is also hindered. He should make it to this next pallet. Looks like Alf is heading back over to the hook to see if anybody's going for the unhook. The hex does come in, though. Fresh hooks. And it looks like the scratch marks are heading back the other way now. I'm seeing and hearing constant... Uh, <laughs> I'm here, I think the unknowns have been scuffed the spectate over. You guys hearing that noise? <laughs> what's, what's going on? <laughs> anyway, Alf is back in chase again with Kamikaze. Does look like they still have a uh, fishbowl on their head there. And they do get hit, unfortunately. And it looks like Alf's going to be getting another hook here. That'll be the second hook. So far, pretty clean gameplay here from Alf. As he makes his way back to Shaq. A pallet pre-drop there by the Quentin. Guys, I think I'm losing my mind. <laughs> a nice UBX hit there from Alf. The pre-drop pallet coming in. But I don't know if actually Lilith makes it round to this uh, this next one. Tries to fake the pallet. Alf gets the M1 lunge. Just with enough distance there. Gets another hook for Team JRM. The hooks are coming in quick and fast for Alf here. Looks like they've just gotten on the unhook here. And uh, it looks like uh, Kamikaze and uh, Squoozy are going to be healing up here. Valentina's looking around, trying to see if they can find anything. Alf, I believe, might have spotted Valentina. Not opting to kick the generator. Not too much, uh, not too much fuss about the map pressure. He's doing a very, very stellar job right now. A beautiful end one. A little bit of a mind game there. With Al. He's actually opted to teleport away, thinking there might be somebody closer over this side of the map. Don't think it paid off for him, though. As Squoozy looks like, he's going to be taking a UVX. Another pallet drop there. Gets a little bit of distance there. Making his way into Shaq. Alf is taking up the chase. Does break out of the UVX, but a beautifully timed and beautifully placed UVX shot. Puts him back with the purple fish orb on his face. Oh no, I thought I clicked away in time and it was going to do that forever. That would have been nuts. Trying to get the body block in, but I don't think Lilith knows he, uh, that Alf isn't allowed to go for him. Alf is playing this very, very sensibly. Going to be going for the ace, though. Very well played, Alf. Making sure to ignore the uh, Lilith so as not to uh, not to get the tunnel in. 
Teleporting straight away, looking for any survivors, maybe up this end of the map. <laughs> what sound effect am I hearing? What am I hearing? Unlucky, doesn't quite get the UVX attack on anybody. Gonna head back this way though, as it's pretty much the only information that he's got. He's gotta make sure that he doesn't tunnel again though. Looking around for the survivor that was nearby. Does look like they've opted to escape. They have left the area. And that is the third generator coming in. <laughs> James is my commute. <laughs> oh, dearie me. We've got a generator kick coming in. I'm sorry. I, I can't concentrate with these noises. I, I can't. What, what, what am I hearing right now? Uh, can we switch to Lilith, maybe? To go to stop it? The chase. Opted to go edge map here. I don't think there's too much here that, um... Ooh, that's unfortunate there. Let's go down very quickly, actually. That will be the first death, I believe, for Team Lilith. As it looks like Alf is going to be taking Lilith to a hopefully nearby hook. Be sure to support your favorite team in the chat with any and all spams. As long as they're not, you know, TOS. <laughs> Squeezy looks like they're trying to reposition. Lilith is actually going to be dead. It's a one versus three now, but four generators have been popped for Team Lilith, which is very, very strong. Remember, the maximum points that a survivor side can get is just the five for the generators completed. Of course, denying any hooks via hatch or, or team escapes would help. But five is the most score that Team Lilith can get right now. It looks like Colocals is going to be finding... The Alf in the map. Ops to drop the pallet. Does get stuck seemingly around the corner of that. <laughs> Gonna get him one there by Alf. As Kamikaze runs further into the map looking for another tile. They can play around. I think Alf has actually opted to leave. Goes back to the generator that's being worked on. A beautiful UVX. Almost got the second one. Got two in a row. Drops a very well placed uh, clone there as well. For that map pressure. Does Alf get the hit? He opts not to try and go for the shot. Squeezy's going to try and make his way back to the generator, it looks like. Looks like Alf's going to be going back for the pressure. And McCausey making their way further to the edge of the map. And then Alf teleports straight back to Valentina where the generator was being worked on. Very well played. Another UVX coming up here for Valentina with the hindered. Does Alf... Does not fake it. Doesn't... I'm not too sure if they're going to make it to this pallet. They do! Very well played by Valentina to get the pallet stun in time. Alf is looking to get the UVX, but does not pay off. He breaks the pallet. Looks like he's still going to take up the chase. Keeping an eye on that generator. Does look like it has stopped progressing. Unless my eyes are deceiving me. No, nope, there is somebody working on that generator. Squoozy the Quentin. Going to be taking up chase now. Does get a UVX hit here. Unlucky not to get the M1. The pallet coming in. Alf going straight back to that husk again. Going over here. We've seen somebody in that corner. But the last generator does get popped. Four Team Lilith. Five full points on the survivor side. Alf is going to be taking chase up on Kamikaze. While the other two survivors look to get the exit gates open. That will be a down. No Ed coming into play. The survivor's well aware now that No Ed is in play. Kamikaze is death hook, so we're looking like both these survivors, unless there's a teleport nearby. Oh, it might be a little bit too close. Do they get out in time? It doesn't actually hit. Make a, uh, make a, make a, make a, uh, I don't even know what I'm saying, honestly. Two out for Team Lilith. All right, we are getting in now. Here we go. Jiggle spawning in. Everybody's spawning in. It looks like we're on the right map. Lilith is ready to go. Spawned right next to Shaq, right in the center of the map here. Oh, oh, we've got a bit of AFKs back in again. Jiggle running up to the unknown and then uh, opted to get chased away. We're going to have a little look and see where Jiggle is because we can hear the chase music. Picking a wide angle here. Does go for the vault. Heading back into Shaq and around again. Instead of going to that pallet filler... She's actually going to be making her way round to Shaq. She might have to drop this now. She does not get hit by the UVX. 
does drop the pallet in time. Lilith is opting to kick the generator. Continuing to extend the chase around Shaq now. Shaq pallet gone at five. Oh, oh. It does look like she's going straight into the basement. Very interesting play here to waste time. However, I do see a little perk on her uh, on her loadout that might be the reason for that in the form of Wicked. She might be down there for a reason. We might see in just a moment after the first generator gets done for Team JRM. Lilith heading back out. I might have a little look and see what Jiggle's going to be doing. He might even just be waiting around, you know. Just taking her sweet, sweet time. No one else needs to go for the reset. I think Lilith is uh, being deceived into thinking he's got a lot of uh, a lot more pressure right now. And that somebody would be going for the save. Hops down a little clone there as it looks like the scratch marks are going to be coming in. Mr. Class is in a chase, in fact. Here we go. Mr. Class turning up for Team JRM. Incredibly talented survivor. Oh, unlucky for Lilith not to get the hit there on Class. Lara's got something to say about that. Juicing around and Lilith does choose to leave the area as Jiggle. And James do get caught out in Shaq. Oh, was that a bamboozle? Was that the last vault? I think it might have been a bam-bam. James has to leave Shaq now. Not going to make anywhere else and does go down. For the second fresh hook for Lilith. It does look like classed. And Cap Jiggle are all going to be working on generators. Hopefully that second generator coming in very, very soon. Lilith's going to be putting pressure towards these survivors. Finds Jiggle out in the open with an injury as well. A pre-drop coming in. I'll go on to Jiggle's perspective here as the chase music's not going to be uh, playing up. She does go for the vault in. Does get hit by the EVX. Very unfortunate. Does get caught on the wall there. Will she make it round in time for the vault? She might have to maybe fake it. She does try and fake it, but Lilith gets the right read. And Lilith does down Jiggle Death. That will be her second hook. She's got to play it a little bit more careful now. That's the only trouble. Not entirely sure what happened in uh, in Shaq. Maybe she got unhooked by uh, James. And didn't get to use her wicked. I'm not entirely sure. Does look like JRM is going to be taking up chase now. The team captain himself. Maintaining the distance against Lilith's unknown. Got to try and make his way back to this pallet. But Lilith gets a good read. And an M1 comes in. James heading towards the uh, TNL wall now. Does dodge the UVX. Goes for the vault. But he doesn't have life. It is just a sprint burst. Which means he's not going to get any extra distance. Makes it to the pallet. He's going to try and fake it. Does get the pallet down. But the UVX does come in. And he does now carry a fishbowl on his forehead. As he's chasing his lookalike. Unfortunate by James. Doesn't quite make it. But Lilith gets a very, very nicely placed UVX to down JRM. That will be hook number four, I believe. Two different survivors. <laughs> Two different survivors. On Team JRM are now on death hook, which is a bit concerning. However, three generators have been completed now. And it looks like Cap is going to be getting chased for the first time this game. Mr. Cap Jam himself. Very nicely placed UVX there as Lilith is going to opt to go for the vault and block up Shack window. Cap makes the distance though. Heads to this uh, next tile. Does take a hit there. Lilith with a beautiful UVX. Overcome. Giving him a little bit more distance. Back into another tile. Does he make anything? No. Oh, he does dodge and it does look like even though James is getting in the way, James does go down. I think Lilith is opting to stay in chase and go for the teleport and does get Cap Jam down on the ground. That will be Cap's first hook as well. It's a fresh hook. Double points again for Lilith as it counts for a fresh hook. That is one point for the fresh hook. One point for a hook state as well. Diggle Death working very, very hard on the generator as Class is healing up James in time. Going in for another chase. I wonder if... 
James is in a bit of a tight spot here. Mr. Klaza coming in for the hit. Taking the hit. Very nice. Being able to fake that pallet stops Lilith from being able to get the UVX hit. Oh, but the teleport coming in and it looks like Klaas did incredibly well to manage that situation and take the hit instead. But Lilith still wants James. JRM making his way further to the back of the map. He does get UVX'd here. He's in a bit of a tight spot though. Four generators have been completed as well. It's looking super, super tight. Unlucky, doesn't get the dead ad. Lilith opting to pick up. And that will be the first kill. And the first death for Team JRM. A fresh generator is being repaired, and it looks like Mr. Klaza was working halfway down on that generator. Class getting in chase now does take a hit. Class has not been hooked yet, though. Unlucky. Doesn't quite get the read. He's, sl <laughs> He's sliding across the floor there with his life. But Lilith does find him. Goes for the hook. Gonna look around here and see some more Grim Embrace value. Jiggle looks like she might be getting a bit caught off guard now. Lilith does cancel, but... Dramaturgy not paying off with the exposed! That is so unfortunate from Jiggle Death there. She uses Dramaturgy and gets the exposed... One in four status effect. Can we get some Fs in chat for Jiggle Death? That is just typical luck. To be on Death Hook and get the exposed rest in peace. Down to two now on Team JRM as Lilith makes his way into the map. Finds classed very, very quickly again. Does not get hit by the UVX. He's going to have to pull out a bit of a master class now. It does look like, actually... Lilith has teleported away, but not to the correct generator by the looks of things, as Cap is halfway done on a generator the other side of the map. Looks like Lilith might be catching on to that and maintaining the map pressure. These last few gens, very, very spread out. Cap is in the right situation here to be able to leave early. I think Lilith saw him. He's gone for the vault. That's bamboozled now. Cap hasn't got a whole lot to work with with the Thumbus. Very well played to bait out the UVX, but does not get the successful mind game. Lilith does get another down for Team Lilith. Going for another hook here. Both Cap and Class are both not uh, death hook yet. Saw Lilith teleporting over. Didn't quite get that generator done. Very unlucky. I believe it was kicked by Lilith, hence why there's uh, extra distance there. Lilith is running away with this game right now. It's a bit of a tight situation now. Klaast has to run away from uh, Cap's hook. It looks like Cap has opted to die on hook to give a small chance. Oh no, the hatch spawn. Lilith just knows where it is. Stands on it as it spawns and closes it in time. Klaast does not get the body block that he needed. Very, very unlucky. And it's looking pretty dire at the moment. He's going to see if he can loop as much as possible. See if he can delay anything. Anything that he can do. To help out the situation. It's the class. Back to the fun bus. He's going to put on a master class. I can smell it. Bamboozled now. It looks like he's only got a dropped pallet to work with. Lilith's going to be opting to... Uh, Make him fall for the mind game if possible. Lilith overextending, interestingly. Maybe he wasn't too aware that he was just stood still. Class parving absolutely immaculate right now. <laughs> Trying to go for the... <laughs> very unfortunate. Trying to go for the uh, the fire barrel tech there. But no Ed comes in for Lilith. I completely forgot about no Ed, actually. And that'll be a one hit down. And a 12 hook game. For Team Lilith and for Lilith Omen. Very, very well played. Well played on both sides, might I say. They did almost perfectly for James's survivor team.
Not quite getting that last generator. One generator short. But very well played indeed. Are we on the right map? It does look like we are on the correct map now. Here we go. They've all spawned in. We're going to be on Mr. JRM playing Spirit himself. Heading straight in. He's got an interesting little build. I believe that's uh, Predator on the right-hand side. Lethal Pursuer coming in with some aura values right at the beginning. Haunted Grounds and Devour Hope. Very interesting. Going to be taking up first chase here as Squoozy the Quentin's going to be heading into main. Making his way around the outside of the main. Doesn't quite get the read. I think Squoozy must have slow vaulted and got around the outside. That is okay. Opted to break one of the breakable walls. Going to be back, going back into the phasing. Looking for the scratch marks. Oh, wow. Very well played by Squoozy there to get the stun on the opposite side there. We're going to break that. Haunted is a banned perk, is it? I can't remember the banned perks, but yeah. Fair enough. That'll be a deduction, but it's not a problem. Keep it going. The first M1 coming in now for Team JRM. Woozy's still going to be dead and chase. The first generator has already been popped as well. I didn't even realize. Sorry, I am zoning out hard right now. I can't lie. Very well played by Team Lilith to get their first generator done. Second one. Make that two. Two points on the leaderboard, but the first down finally coming in. For JRM. We're going to be seeing them taken to a hook. That will be a first hook point and a hook state point coming in. So it's pretty evenly matched right now. I know it's two generators beforehand, but it should be very, very nice M1. Onto Lilith there as well. Just flew down from that uh, from that that that, uh, that rock mound. Opted to break the pallet. It does look like Valentina's footsteps are heading the other way. We did see two survivors this way. Yeah, I'm heading back over here, keeping himself. Fairly close in the vicinity. Does spot an ace getting the unhook. That's alright. He's going to be leaving, going for the ace. Very rightly so as well. Hopefully not picking up any more deductions. Gets an M1 on Valentina. Squoosh did juice. Gets a pallet stun there, but it does look like... Um... Yeah. That's unfortunate. That's an unfortunate, uh... Unfortunate thing that happened there. Unlucky. Hold on. But we move again! There's another fresh hook there for Team GRM. Lilith still have two generators on the board, though. Very, very fresh start. Still, even with two hooks, very, very clean. Spirit can be an incredibly dominating killer. Not the best for map pressure. Make that three generators now. I think we just saw a little uh, little survivor crouch in there. Lilith Omen with his sprint burst. Makes his way to the first pallet here. Spirit obviously being a 110 killer is a lot slower. James opting to not use the, uh, the phasing. Just does get an M1 there on Lilith. He's going to be phase walking now. Trying to catch up to Lilith as we speak. That generator that has just been left there, though. Very, very close by. Needs to get into a chase again. He does indeed. Had a little look over at that generator. No progress further than what we saw last time. While we're waiting for this... Uh... Oh, never mind. He's opted to leave. And the Kate is going to take an M1 here. Going back downstairs. Two generators very, very close to being completed as well. Turned to the left. Very, very smart, actually, for James to do. He's actually turned left to make it look like he was going to go over to that generator. Unlucky not to get it. Very good read, but doesn't quite get the length. We have Vault coming in for Kate around this tile. Heading back around the other side. This is a very, very dirty setup, but it does look like Mr. James is going to catch up in time with the Bloodlust. And get her down. 
and a flashlight save coming in from Squoozy. Squoozy playing an incredible game so far. Very nice save by Squoozy. Having a look around again, it looks like Kate does get caught out on that vault right at the end of it. James not wasting a whole lot of time there. Doing a cheeky little 360, 540 spin. Throw enough anybody who might be going for another flashlight save, but the fourth generator has been repaired. We're going to have a little look around now and see where people are. Looks like Scroozy's nearby. Valentina might be taking chase soon. Lilith Omen. Upstairs on the final generator, but it has been kicked by James. Oh, tried going for the bait out vault there. But Mr. James does get the hit. Got to try and catch up now. The vault does come in. This main building is so powerful. Kate is going down. Very, very good read there. Oh, sorry. Yeah, not Kate. Woozy. Quentin. All five generators have been popped now for Team Lilith. James going to opt to break this last breakable wall. Is there any way that he can recover from this situation? There is a wild Lilith looping around. Goes for the little mind game. What's he gonna do? He's easy, easy. I don't know what he's doing. He's sniffing his butt or something. What's, what, 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 what are we doing here? <laughs> Back on the phase walk here. He's gonna go for a little backwards walk. Make it look like he's gonna go one way. Lilith pre-drops the pallet. It looks like James might catch up here. Does go for the M1. Lilith is down. This is a, a fresh hook, actually. This is a very, very strong hook that James could have gotten for his team. This is double points yet again for the final first hook state. It's basically the equivalent of getting two hooks on another survivor at the moment. Very, very strong for endgame. There's a fresh hook point. Maxed out. It does look like Squeezy's going to go for the unhook. While James finds an ace, but is going to head back. He's the unhook coming in. Breaks the pallet nearby. Squoozy, the Quentin, getting blind. Wow. Squoozy gets hit with an M1, but he's going to try and make some distance. The exit gate is open. And it looks like James is going to be heading his way closer by. Where does Spirit come in? Blocks the line of sight. And Kate's going to be trying to body block for the Quentin. And we're in a bit of a stalemate here as we're going to look to have to see. What an M1! The Kate does not get the body block in time. And it does look like Squeezy's going to be going down. Very well played. Two survivors have left the area. Where is the ace lurking around? We'll have to have a look. Looks like they're going to be opting to leave as well. James going for the 360 no scope pickup. That will be all she wrote for this game. Took a while to get. Oh, what are we doing? <laughs> Make sure you hook him, James. <laughs> well played, my friend. That will be six hooks. That is a final hook state, unfortunately. It couldn't have been an extra couple of hooks states for anybody else. But very well played. Always going to be a bit of a tough map. Very, very, uh, very, very strong map. This is the second spirit game that we're going to see. Lilith himself playing spirit at the moment as it stands. Mr. James himself got six hooks, four of which were brand new. So that takes 10 total points for Team JRM on the killer side. But it is all to play for right now. The more points, the merrier. But Lilith is looking for a total of 10 points, including the first uh, hook state points as well. He's looking around. He might be opting to maybe break main quite early on. No, he does just go straight back to a wild cap jam. Crash jam, we're going to call him now. Who goes for the first vault there. Back into this LT wall. And we are getting into this game. Lilith going to be waiting it out a little bit now. <laughs> Looks like Cap was trying to get rid of his scratch marks. Maybe he's got Champion of Light. We'll have to have a little look in a second. As the first M1 comes in. There we go. Very, very well played. Looks like Cap's going to have to try and figure out what he's going to do here. Oh, very, very nice timed vault there. Lilith doesn't quite catch up, and I don't think 
Lilith is going to catch up to there either. He's double vaulted back into the window. Cap makes his way out to the filler. And does get the stun. Very well played by Cap to take up his first chase. Lilith did get blinded. Has to potentially... Oh no, he isn't dropping chase. Gonna be trying to catch up to the wild Cap. Does Cap make it? Oh, there is a pallet. A filler here. It does get dropped. Lilith does opt to break it straight away. He does hear a generator nearby. But this generator actually isn't the one that got popped. James is running away by the looks of things. He might even be heading away. Oh, no. He is trying to catch up. Does he get an M1 here? No. James's new internet comes in clutch and gives him just enough ping to make the vault. <laughs> very, very nice pallet stun there. A second generator coming in. And it looks like right now. Team JRM are dominating this game with two generators coming in so far. Lilith yet to find a first hook. Leaving Cap there. Can't see him. Needs to try and maybe find him again. Jiggledef getting caught up using Dramaturgy though. Should we have a look and see what effect she got? Uh, is that an item? I think she just got a random key. Unluckily though, she does go back on herself and goes down. Unfortunate. And that will be the first hook coming in for Team Lilith. That'll be two points there. Green key OP. <laughs> Nothing against the rules to say that any items you get in your dramaturgy you can't use. Here we go. Mr. Class getting chased now. Pre-dropping that pallet. And taking the spirit all the way up to the back end of the map. Just back beside main. Class opting to head into main building. Goes for the vault. Lilith very sensibly decides to open up main. We'll have to head back into the map as it looks like Mr. Class has life and has made some very, very good distance. Lilith looking around for any survivors. Still three generators left to be completed. We'll have a little look around and see what's going on. Cap on a generator. Jiggle looking for the next generator and so... Eve James will be getting chased now. Oh, does lose sight of James, though. James gives him the slip and goes the other way. Look at the distance that James has. Unbelievable. Very, very well played by him. And it looks like Lilith is just going to be playing catch-up with the 110 until he gets his ability back, which he now does. Phase walking to try and catch up yet again. James gives him the slip yet again. We'll look at it from the perspective of Mr. James. I don't think he's going to make it anywhere right now. He does get m one by Lilith as he tries to make his way out to the edge of the map. And it looks like Lilith's going to be opting for a, uh, a little zoomy. James does go for another vault. Gets the slip. And that will be another first hook on James and a second hook for Team Lilith. As the third generator comes in. Three generators and only two hooks so far. But there is so much potential to catch up. Five stacks of Save the Best for Last as well. Room Embrace and Surge. Lift's making his way over to this generator. Not seeing anybody around. Doesn't opt to kick the generator, interestingly. Gonna head straight back over to where the unhook came in. Does see the heal. James has been fully healed. James's sprint burst coming in clutch, but it looks like Mr. Class is getting body blocked. A very, very nice M1 coming in for Lilith. That's a sixth stack of Save the Best for Last. Does not break the pallet. It does look like Class is going to go for a beautifully timed pallet stun. They are both going to escape on the perfect end of Shack, Right out in the open. Perfect distance to be... Uh, what up to? Two people on a generator right now. That is the last generator. And it is now an exit gate powered situation. That is full points. Five generators completed for Team JRM. Still only two hook states, unfortunately, for Lilith. Oh. <laughs> Playing a little bit of a mind game there. Mr. James is opting for a little any means necessary gameplay but doesn't quite make it as he gets hit over the top as he vaults 
I think he got NA pinged on there, but very, very unlucky nonetheless. Lilith is opting to maybe go for this very, very awkward hook spawn. Will he make it, though? I don't know if he will. It's looking pretty tight. He just about makes it. But the exit gates get opened, and all three other survivors do choose to escape. And that will be a two-pointer, as that was James's second hook, and then also death hook. But two points extra there for Lilith's team. That will be four hooks. Two of which were first hooks. Very, very well played. We're going to get in to our first match. We have Lilith spawning in on demo on Blood Lodge. Looks like we're all spawning in and doing well. A couple of generators getting off straight off the rip. Doubling up on a generator inside Shaq. <laughs> Lilith Reed rolls. Who is this? Is this Glider? I'm not entirely sure. Um... Yeah, Lilith opting to take chase just outside of uh, of here. They're going to go for the fake. No, Heather does go for the vault and instead runs away. Does get M1. Or not M1, sorry. Does get shredded. Um, but does make the distance. Lilith already going for a teleport through a portal. Hoping to maybe try and catch up on Heather. And does manage to somewhat. Definitely closes down a lot of the distance. Heather going for a very, very early pre-drop here. Very sensible there, but Heather does uh, stick around. Is now leaving the area. I don't know if she has too much to work with right now. Um, does she make it round again? She doesn't quite. A very, very nice shred there coming in from Lilith for the first hook of this set. Very, very unlucky on Heather there. Didn't quite make it round that corner onto that next tiles uh, pallet there. But that will be hook number one. We're going to have a little look around and see where everybody is. Whole Sam crouching away. Ollie with the Grim Embrace, having to leave that generator. Couple of people on hook. Maybe a little bit of miscommunication here. Lilith is taking up chase, doing a little head nod. <laughs> we, we love a little demo head nod. And um, Ollie's going to be running around Shaq. Ollie, the EU 1v1 champion, don't forget. Knows how to play against the demo, especially around Shaq. We shall see how well he plays. He does opt to go for a little vault in. The bamboozle play coming in clutch here. Pops down a portal inside Shaq. Maybe for future reference. Nope, he does indeed leave the chase after the pallet has been dropped. Very, very well played. Sensible decision. Opting to put some map pressure out among the edge. Uh, somewhere else on the map. Looking at the other generators. He's kind of maybe weighing up what kind of generators he doesn't want to look too much into. And doesn't mind getting completed. Um, holding an obvious three generator uh, obviously is against the rules um, for the sake of it being super duper boring. Um, but he is obviously allowed to not bother putting map pressure somewhere. If the survivors want to complete the gens, they sure can. Looks like Lilith's trying to charge up his little shred. Oh, what a beautiful shred there onto the Lara. Very, very well played by Lilith. Looked almost pixel perfect there. It looks like another shred beautifully placed. A very, very quick chase, actually. Um, surprisingly, two generators have been popped now for Team Lilith. Oh, not sorry, Team Lilith. Team Ollie. Team Lilith have gotten two hooks now. <laughs> I'm trying my best. We're getting there. Lilith heading back to the generator that has been blocked over. It is very close to being completed, but... Not opting to wait around to kick it. Seeing some scratch marks near the hook. Looks like the ace of Ollibot. Oh, goes for the uh, the teleport, but actually opts to cancel it and goes back to the unhook where the generate uh, where the generator sorry where the hook unhook take uh, took place. Getting into a chase now with Whole Sam, seeing them for the first time. Does get blinded mid-shred and misses the attack there. Very, very well played. Does not get the second lunge around the corner uh, of the of the loop as well. Whole Sam, I remember being incredibly, uh, incredibly talented from yesterday's sets. What a beautiful dodge there again from Whole Sam. Lilith does get stunned, but look at the end fury coming into play. And does concede an M1. Whole Sam making up some distance, heading back into the next uh, tile here. 
Let's see how Lilith's going to play. Four generators complete now. Very, very well played by Team Ollie. Didn't opt to go for the shred there. Very, very nice. Patient play there from Lilith to get another first hook. Well, you know what? I eat my words, commentator's curse. Ollie absolutely drives by with a flashbang. I didn't even hear it from my si from my side. Very, very well played by Ollie to get that flashbang save, denying a hook. A first hook as well, which would have been two points. Lilith now opting. Oh, no. Very unlucky there from Pulsan. Does go down eventually. We are eventually going to be seeing another hook, but wasting valuable time for Lilith. That is the fifth and final generator coming in. No Ed coming in to play now for Lilith. Going to have a little look and see what the other survivors are doing right now. Pulse down on hook. We have Ollie and Heather running away. We have, I believe, Glider. I could be wrong. On a uh, exit gate right now. Lilith does see the Lara running away, though. Going to put a portal down there. Very sensible. Might have to head down to the other side. Oh, looking around. Sees an injured Lara. <laughs> Does opt to go for a shred. Gets the bonus blood points, which could potentially go in clutch right at the very end. It depends how equal and level the sets go. Sometimes it comes down to the blood points. That is the exit gate opened for Team Ollie. And it looks like they might be opting to leave. We'll have a little look around. Whole Sam and Ollie, quite far, and Heather, honestly, all back into the trial. But the end game timer has started now. Looks like Whole Sam's going to be making their way, but... Lilith climbing out of the hole and does spot he is allowed with it being endgame to slug fully now and tunnel if he wants to. Old Sam might not have gotten the flick there. Does get it. I believe that was a dead hard actually. Very, very well placed dead hard there. Unlucky not to get the hit there though or not to get around the corner. Lilith does get the hit. It looks like Glider's getting picked up again now. Very beautiful shred. Two down now. Genuinely, this could be a little bit of a, uh, a, a very difficult situation uh, situation for Team Ollie. Unlucky not to hit the uh, shred there. But it looks like Whole Sam has been picked up again. If we flick over there, Whole Sam, I believe, just getting healed by uh, by Ollibot there. Everybody's staying in the trial. About a quarter of the end game timer down. It's obviously slowed down because we have somebody on the ground. Lilith opting to pick up. That will be a hook stay. If Team Ollie want to go for the save, they're going to have to probably fully reset. Otherwise, that will be two hooks, including the death hook for the Lara. We'll have a look and see what everybody else is doing. It looks like they're opting to leave. And that will be game. Number one completed. Very, very sensible choice. Well played to both teams. Here we go. Mr. Ollibot spawning in. Blood Lodge, Demogorgon. Popping a portal down. Super duper early. We're going to have a little look and see where everybody else is. Squoozy, edge map. We've got Lilith spawning next to uh, Valentina. Kamikaze in the middle of the map as well. Oli finding a chase. Super quick on Squoozy though. Making their way to a pallet, pre-dropping, and absolutely destroying that pallet. Nice and early. The more pallets that Ollie can get through early game, the better, I think. Demogorgon has a lot of potential. Very, very nice M1. Avoiding the stun as well. In the process. Not opting to destroy that pallet. I think as he got the hit, he's actually probably better off going for the chase. It looks like Ollie's going to try and go for a shred, and he does actually hit it. Very well played from Ollie to get that hit around the corner of the rock. Slipping off and getting a very, very quick first hook for Team Ollie. Very, very well played. He's going to put a portal down right next to the hook. Hopefully, he's not using that to, <laughs> to, uh, to, to uh, tunnel to camp, but he's not. He is tunneling away. Teleporting away. Oh, of course, he's going to be going for the unhook. Looks like Valentina's going to be getting into a chase soon. Ollie, hot on their heels. They're going to go for the vault. They're not. They've got enough distance that Ollie doesn't feel confident about the shred actually connecting. 
The mind game coming in there. I wonder if they maybe snuck away already. They... Oh, I think they did, but they actually didn't get too much distance. And a shred coming in there. The shred obviously having a uh, lower hit cooldown time there. Kamikaze coming in to take a hit with the Kate. Ollie's spoiled for choice now. He's still going to be on the ace indeed. Oh. Thought that they might have maybe gone to the, for the pallet drop, but they did not. Whoa! I thought he was going to bonk onto the locker there, but he actually slipped off. And gets another very, very well-placed shred, but he does get pallet saved. I don't know who that was that came in, but very well played by them. Covering for their team, and Ollie is back to square one, really. Lost a lot of map pressure there. So long as Valentina can uh, play this pallet very well. So far, so good. Unlucky there, the M1 doesn't quite connect. We're not seeing, we're seeing a lot of mind gaming here. Oh, and it does pay off for Ollie, but if he does get a down eventually. Is he going to go for a pickup again now? He's going to fake it and look around. He does see some scratch marks, which he is allowed to pursue. Oh, it does get faked out by Scroozy. And it looks like Quentin's going to be uh, living to see another day as he runs away. Oh, doesn't quite get the M1, but Scroozy did run back with a background player. <laughs> and that will be another first hook uh, for Valentina and another hook for Team Ollie. Very, very well played. Grim Embrace coming in clutch. We'll have a look at the perks again. Another Corrupt, Noed, Grim Embrace, and Bamboozle build. Very, very common build that we've seen throughout this tournament. Squeezy going for the unhook. Lilith is halfway done on the generator. Kamikaze going to be starting a fresh gen or new enough of a fresh gen. Oh, we got this insane POV. Did you see that? <laughs> I saw Basement. Looks like Ollie's TPing straight into Shaq now. Lilith coming in with the pallet drop. Making his way away into the next filler here. Lilith is going to be opting to drop the pallet nice and early. And it looks like the Zona Gorgon is going to be coming into play here as Lilith is basically spoiled for no choice. And has to get a hit taken while he runs away. Going to be making his way up to this uh, forklift now. Hopefully making his way around. Looking underneath to see if he can spot Ollie. Ollie going for a shred. Lilith rightly so. Dropping the pallet. Going to be extending his chase around the corner again. Trying to break line of sight. Does find a pallet again. Does not get the shred on Lilith. Another pallet stun and another pallet... Uh, not pallet stun, sorry. Pallet drop and another pallet shred. Lilith is burning through these pallets right now, but he is saving much valuable time for his team to get another generator on the board. Two generators for Team Lilith. That is the third hook coming in, and another fresh hook for Team Ollie. So that'll be six points total right now for three fresh hooks included. Does look like he's wanting to get his Grim Embrace value, maybe finding the... Fourth and final survivor to delay the gen progression would be awesome. Looking around. He does know that there's somebody nearby. Looks like they're hiding just out the edge of Shack. Ollie's still looking around. Pops a portal in the back in the meantime and does proceed to leave the area. Kamikaze living to see another day. But you know what? He's ruffled me because Kamikaze has actually been just as caught out as I did. Because he teleported right next to the shack. Baits the Kate out and Kate does get taken. Ace coming in, Valentina. Does not unfortunately get away in time. It does take the hit. But ends up going down himself. Unlucky to the ace. Looking for the scratch marks. It looks like they have gone away. Ollie's looking to continue putting pressure out. Interestingly, on Kamikaze. Potentially because Kamikaze is the uh, last survivor that needs to be hooked. Potentially. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't been keeping track myself. I'm sure you guys at home have. It would make most sense to me. He did see scratch marks, so he is allowed to pursue this if he wants to. Kamikaze trying to fake that. Does not end up getting the fake. The M1 comes down. It does look like from the... Uh... Oh, that's so unfortunate. The slug in that they are going to be first hook. But Grim Embrace does not come into play. Because Team Lilith did actually, in fact, get the fifth and final generator done. Very, very unlucky there not to get the fourth stack. 
Squoozy's lurking in the meantime. Lilith is working on an exit gate. And everybody else in the trial is going to be looking out see the progression there is no generator sorry no uh, exit gate progress happening right now opening a locker looking around nearby does actually spot a survivor mr lilith omen himself with his little twitch charm gonna be heading further into the trial it looks like somebody has just gotten back on a generator but no ed coming back into play now and look at this pressure that suddenly ollie has got and it looks like Kamikaze has to go back to this pallet. Do they make it? That They do not. That's two down. And before you know it, we're in a really stressful situation now. It doesn't like Squoozy has come in clutch and managed to get Lilith back up again. But Ollie does not get the shred. Lilith, incredibly fortunate not to get contacted there. And does get away with his life. So Ollie has to come back to the Kamikaze now. To try and get a hook and a little bit of map pressure. Hopefully nobody's nearby. Doesn't look like anybody is. Most intense yet. I agree. This has been super intense. That will be no Ed gone as well. And they're all reset over on Team Lilith. They might actually be opting to go back into the trial to get the, uh, the save on Kamikaze. It is super risky though. Because they are only one hook stay away from dying. It is death hook. So if they do get unhooked. It could save it. Very, very close though. Looks like Valentina is going to be opting to try and open this exit gate nearby. Ollie is taking chase to Squoozy over towards the edge map here. Squoozy does get M or oh, oh, shredded, sorry. Heading into Shack, The unhook comes in, though, for Team Lilith. And the exit gate is open. Very, very intense. Squeezy's making his way back to the other side of the map. As Lilith is going to probably come in to try and take a hit, if possible. And it looks like Kamikaze is going to be opening another exit gate there. So that both exit gates are open. Ollie is still chasing around this forklift. It looks like they're all going to be coming in and taking his. Look at this. Teamwork is absolutely incredible here. Ollie's going to have to try and find a way through to maybe take a hit if possible. It looks like Squoozy is actually going to go back around the truck. Ollie, with not too much choice here, but to go for a shred. Minimize the cooldown. Go for a shred in the distance. Doesn't quite hit Squoozy as he makes distance. Lilith squeezes in between. Ollie's got to go around the back. And it looks like Squoozy's being zoned yet again. This is so intense. Very, very well played. Lilith is being pushed back into the map now. Half of the time down on endgame. Pallet coming in. And it looks like Lilith is going to be taking chase. A, a shred coming in here. As Squoozy goes... Wait. Squoozy went down? Since when? What happened? I didn't even see it. Was that plot twist? No, it was plot twist. What am I watching right now? That's so unfortunate. Oh my goodness gracious me. That is so unlucky. And that is a second hook state. Ollie is... <laughs> Ollie is just shaking his head at Squeezy. Nice try, bucko. I can hear him. I can hear him say it. And it looks like they're all going to probably try and reset. But I don't know if they're going to... They are going to try and come back in. I love this from Team Lilith. They're going to try and get a four out here. Potentially going in for the unhook. They uh, might need to maybe be careful about Kamikaze here, though, because they are death hook injured and uh, in a bit of a vulnerable position between two exit gates here. Back over here, though, it looks like Ollie's going to be taking Chase back up. What a shred on Valentina! And that is another free hook there for Team Ollie. Oh my god, I'm losing my voice. This has been insane. Ollie is just snowballing right now. The timer, the end game timer, they've got to be super careful right now. Kamikaze has opted to escape the trial. And it looks like Squoozy and Lilith are both going to leave as well. They actually would have been better off leaving the initial hook on Kamikaze behind. Instead of opting to go for the save. But Ollie took advantage of the situation and ended up getting three more hook states. Very, very well played. And i got to say, can I just give a round of applause to Lilith's team? Opting to come in and go for the save actually made for some of the most entertaining ga like gameplay at the end of that game, at the end of that match there, that we have seen this tournament. Very, very well played. Here we go.
We have indeed seen everybody spawn in, and it looks like Dracula being spawned in the corridor here. Straight into bat form here. I haven't seen a whole lot of gameplay on Dracula. Very, very nice. Quick teleport downstairs. Very, very speedy. Lilith showing off the mobility of this killer very, very well. There's a lot of uh, potential teleport locations on this map. <laughs> Adam's name. <laughs> Lilith's looking around. Can't see anybody right now. Might take a while to get into chase, but it looks like a couple of people are on generators right now. Maybe just the one. They're looking around for generators as well. Lilith Reed Rolls is going to be sat on this generator in the meantime. Uh, what it, What am I looking at? Uh, <laughs> what did I just see? <laughs> Alrighty, we're back in first person now. Yippee! We're going to see Heather taking up Chase nice and early here. Does get hit with the, um, uh, I, 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 I'm sorry, I'm terrible with names. The attack. Heather does use life and gets away. And Lilith does go back into bat form. Hey, guys, I will take any and all help with uh, terminology for DVD because I am terrible at that sort of stuff. What is that? What is that power called? Hellfire's Bite or something? I don't know. Uh, but Lilith uh, is going to be getting a fairly resp a respectably quick um, first hook on Heather as he proceeds to tell It is just Hellfire, I see. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. I'm learning. Add-ons are fine. Usually, a la carte shield would be banned in a regular comp setting, but we have allowed it in this setting because it is funny. Haha. -ha. That is pretty much the only explanation. <laughs> Just for the memes. The lift's going to be mind gaming. Does not opt for the M1 and instead goes for his Hellfire, but does not contact uh, the Adam. Very, very unlucky. Funny haha -ha is a base reason. <laughs> Indeed. Adam taking Chase outside into the mid-map area. Does get M1 though, however. It looks like Heather's been unhooked and reset and maybe they are on generators now. So Lilith is probably going to be looking to hopefully get her down quite quickly. Can he hit through here? He can indeed. Very, very nice Hellfire. Lilith giving a couple of nods of approval as well to the Adam as the first generator comes in for Team Ollie. Very, very well played to both sides. Off to a pretty sensible start, honestly. Seeing a bit of regression coming in from Ruin here. We do have Ruin Undying. But also a Noed Blood Warden endgame as well. I don't think Blood Warden is considered a slowdown. Because it is very, very uh, situational whether it gets procced or not. So I don't think we're uh, too fussed about that. But the uh, Hex, Ruin, and Undying combo is considered two slowdowns. Looks like Lilith's going to be catching up to Sam, who has taken an M1 hit. A pre-drop there coming in from Sam. Does she make it around the corner? She does actually manage to dodge, but does not get the vault in time as Lilith gets the grab and interrupts the vault and gets a very, very quick hook there. Very, very well played there from Lilith. Um, and honestly, well played from Sam as well to be able to dodge that Hellfire attack. And in back over this way. Very, very nicely timed vault in from Ollibot, the team captain of Team Oli, of course. As Ollie's going to be heading upstairs on Midwitch. The lift catching up nice and slowly. Opting for a Hellfire hit here. Does he hit? Does he make contact? He does not. And Ollie does drop downstairs with, I assume, balance landing. Very well played to get away. But Ollie, in turn, does actually get Heather. Uh, almost kind of low key sandbagged a little bit. Womp womp. Um, but it looks like Heather's going to be taking up chase now. Does get hit by the... Oh, woo. Dodges the Hellfire, though. Drops the pallet nice and early. Lilith trying to listen out to see where Heather is. Does actually get the read on Heather. Very unlucky. Uh, I think it might have just come down to the fact that Heather was injured. Uh, that she got seen. But very, very well played, though. From Team Lilith and Team Ollie. Ollie's still cranking this generator right now. He does have to leave, though. Ruin coming in clutch again. No need to kick the generator. It is regressing automatically. And maybe Team Ollie might have to vouch to maybe get rid of um, some of these hex totems as well. Oh, well played from Lilith. He turns back into Dracula. Just as uh, Ollie's uh, not able to get into the vault. Very unfortunate here. 
Ollie's sticking around this tile. Does it look like Hellfire's going to come in clutch? Ollie's having to leave the area, but it looks like Lilith's going to cancel the Hellfire. But I don't think Ollie's got the distance to get anywhere. Doesn't even make the locker in time. And that will be another down for Ollie. But Team Ollie with two generators in the meantime. Running away with this game a little bit. But honestly, I can't lie. I think Lilith is playing <laughs> tremendously well. Um, way more hooks than I would have anticipated. Making good use of the bat ability. Keeping the pallets down. Um, not breaking the pallets. Every opportunity available here. We headed back around this way. It looks like uh, whoever's getting chased up here. They go back downstairs. Is this whole Sam? It is indeed whole Sam. Very, very unlucky there. As it looks like whole Sam's going to be conceding another hook. Lilith with six hook states soon. <laughs> we got a cheeky moonwalk. Lilith is doing a moonwalk as well. We love to see it. Beautiful. Maybe even plus two points for the Moonwalks. <laughs> Very well played. Ollie is still on hook, though. Very well timed uh, 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 Vault there. Heading back into the teleport. Checking to see if there's anybody nearby, and it does look like. Ollie might be a little bit stranded, you know. Maybe Adam has to go and farm and get the trade off so that Ollie doesn't go second stage. Which I think they are. They do manage to get it in time, and they are going to trade off. Ollie, meanwhile, going to be running away, and that will be a nice, clean trade there for Lilith for his seventh hook for his team. Looking for the next uh, vault to uh, teleport towards. Find somebody, find some scratch marks anyway, but doesn't actually find anybody. There's some scratch marks nearby, though. Looks like they went upstairs in the end. <laughs> Sorry about the ads. And Lilith's going to be making his way to see Holsam yet again. Very, very well-timed vault there from Holsam. Gets away, lives to see another day in the meantime, pre-drops that pallet. However, Dracula will run ahead, but it looks like Holsam's still got the distance. Oh, no! Not quite the read. Holsam might have looked like they, they thought they would have... Um, potentially made that uh, distance, but Lilith somehow, just by the skin of his teeth, reaches the very end of that lunge. And that will be a kill for Team Lilith. Team Ollie down to a three survivor team right now. Very, very unlucky situation to be in. There's two generators left. Ruin is still up as well. They did get rid of Undying, but they're still struggling to find this last Ruin totem. Lilith very sensibly opting to go back towards the generators that are uh, checking to be regressed. Two generators are very close to being done. And it looks like Heather very, very well played to run away. Pre-run that area there. Get as much distance as possible. And it looks like Lilith's going to try and keep as much pressure on these two last generators as possible. Ollie taking up Chase now back into the corner. This little uh, pallet here can be very strong. I don't know if Lilith can hit through here, though. <laughs> a couple of nods. Ollie does take a lovely Hellfire attack that Lilith has just done. Very well played. But the fourth generator coming in. Lilith. It's going to be vaulting back downstairs, Ollie. Playing a cheeky little mind game as Ollie does get the vault in the end this time. All five generators have been popped. A very, very well played stun. From one of the survivors there. Noed obviously being procced now. Does look like the lift's going to be... Oh! Catching out Heather here. Heather unawares of the M1. Damage that's going to happen right now. Welcome back from the ads, by the way, guys. So sorry about that. And Heather is down. That will be another hook for Team Lilith. Is that a death hook as well? I'm not entirely sure. It is indeed... And it sounds like this exit gate over here is going to be opened. And that will be... Potentially all. But Lilith's going to head back to this area. Catching off Adam. Adam's being stranded here. And might have to try and opt for a hatch play now. Quite holding the angle there, but it doesn't... I don't know if they're going to get the vault in time. Are they going to get it? A medium vault coming in. And the Hellfire 
to claim the final hook stay up for grabs for team lilith very well played unlucky with a medium vault ollie leading to hopefully try and get adam the uh, the hatch escape getting caught off guard there oh oh no there is a hook in there i was gonna say i didn't know if there was gonna be distance lilith with a incredibly respectable 10 hooks four of which were obviously brand new hooks so that is 14 points out of a possible 16 on the killer side very very well played to both sides the final match between these two teams and the final match that we are going to see from either of these two teams during this tournament olivot playing the dark lord dracula on midwitch opting for an interesting build here we have ruin devour hope and hex i believe that's retribution correct if i'm wrong we shall see where Ollie's going. He's instantly in bat mode, looking around the map, trying to find any scratch marks. Any kind of value, that kind of stuff. He does see some scratch marks, though. And catches somebody off guard coming upstairs by the form of Lilith Omen, the Dracula in the previous match. Dodging the Hellfire attack, very well played. He's opting to stay at this tile here. Fairly sensible for the time being. A Hex Devour Hope has already been cleansed. One of Ollie's f best perks that he could have brought um, has actually been, you know, claimed. A second Hex Totem as well has been cleansed. And it looks like Retribution is going to be taking some value in now. A little all coming to... Oh, very nice. Didn't even need the second attack there. Does see somebody nearby and very, very well played there to get another Hellfire attack in. Ollie is on a rampage right now for his team. He might actually make this as well. He does extend it just at the end there to get another Hellfire attack. Two down. What an incredible start there. Obviously, there were two hexes that have been destroyed now. Ollie is actually very interestingly choosing to run this way towards the other um, pickup. But the reset has come in and Lilith is back on full health again. Healthy uh, health state. TPing the walls back down here. Going to look for where the scratch marks are going. Does find a wild fung. And another beautiful hellfire attack there. Coming in. Blocking the pallets as well. This perk. Blood favor is coming in so clutch right now. Might have actually maybe gotten away with a swing there. But it was a little bit too late. And actually Kom uh, Komakorzi does take advantage of that. By using, I believe that was either life... Or balance landing to get some extra distance. Pre-dropping here. Opting to use the Hellfire. Dodging that attack and going for the Vault there. And they're going to have to play a little bit of a mind game here. Komakorzi maybe coming out on top. Do they make it around to this pallet? They do, but they drop it. And it looks like Oli does still get the Hellfire. That will be the second hook state for his team. Very, very well played. Komakorzi delaying... A lot of that during that chase. And we shall see now a couple of gen progressions coming in clutch now. Looks like everybody is sat on the generator. So there is uh, a bit of map pressure that Ollie needs to catch up with now. <laughs> Swinging to come down here. Seeing the scratch marks. The survivor opting not to get the unhook. Very, very sensibly played there. Going back into this area of the map. Scroozy trying to get the slip on Ollie, but does not manage to. Maybe makes it to a pallet. Not entirely sure. Going to head upstairs. Does get hell fired, though. Ollie is on point with his Hellfires, can I just say. He has been playing very well so far. Well played by Ollie. Listening out for the teammates. He sees two sets of scratch marks, though. And he has switched to wolf mode. Ow! Another generator coming in. Perfectly timed there by Lilith. That will be... Ollie getting rid of the aggro there. Missing the pounce. Does he make it in time for the vault before... No, he doesn't. Doesn't get the attack. Lilith... <laughs> Lilith are wooing his way. Very, very well played. Ollie's getting a little bit confused here, but Lilith is still being caught up here. <laughs> Cheeky from Lilith. Cheeky from Lilith, but well played. Trying to get into Ollie's head right now. Looks like Lilith may have actually gotten the slip. Oh, not quite, though. He doesn't actually make it out of this little tile here. He's going to head back into this area. Ollie charging up the Hellfire again. Blocking the vault, and it looks like he's going to guarantee himself an M1. Very well played to position himself between the pallet 
and the survivor. Ollie's going to try and uh, keep his chase going now, using his bats to try and catch up. Looking at where the scratch marks are. Is he going to get Hellfire in time? Very, very well played flick there. And oh no, Ollie gets scammed. The NA ping coming in clutch for... <laughs> He doesn't. He got scammed from the grab. It looked like he was going for a grab, but he doesn't make it. He doesn't even get the swing afterwards as well. That is super, super unlucky from Ollie. Honestly, deserved this down at this point. Does get a beautiful hellfire though to make up for it though. Where very well played, but Ollie to keep his composure there. Holy moly, getting intense. He's got to make the long route around to go back outside. Is he going to make it? He's gonna make it to a hook. I hope he does. I really do hope he does. He does indeed. Very, very nice. That'll be our first hook for, uh, for Lilith as well, which means that it's double points as well. Ollie looking around, seeing a very, very highly progressed generator. Maybe opting to kick it now. He is indeed the third generator coming in for Team Lilith. As Ollie is on three hooks now. It does say two on the bottom left, but he has had three hook states. Not updated. Ollie back in bat form, having a little look around, seeing what gens have progressed. Getting a gauge of this uh, closer to end game situation. Not seeing that generator with much value. Unfortunately, his three hex perks have been cleansed pretty early on. A fourth generator coming in for Team Lilith out of nowhere. And it looks like Squoozy's going to be making his way to the final kind of quarter of this generator. Leaving the generator a little bit early now. Opting to come back upstairs now. And it looks like... Oh, Kamikaze actually made their way inside instead of Squoozy. I wonder where Squoozy is right now. They're all resetting Lilith downstairs. Well, he's got to be careful about this last generator. It is super, super close to being completed. So he doesn't want to steer too far away. Although right now he is going to the other side of the map. Trying to catch up to the uh, Kamikaze. Who might have even gotten the slip. Squoozy picking up Chase, though. Getting another Hellfire. Ollie, can I just say, his Hellfires have been in insane. Like, genuinely, cannot fault it. Absolutely the strong point for Ollie in this uh, in this matchup. Unlucky there. Does get the slip. Squoozy there. Gets the vault into this pallet here. A lovely M1 there, and it looks like Squeezy's going to be going down. Let's have a little quick look at where the generators are, though. Another generator outside being worked on as we speak. All three... Oh, no, sorry, not all three. It's only a double gen. So, Kamikaze is uh, opting to leave the area. Even though they're injured, they're going to try and get the generator done instead. Does he make it out in time? He does not. He turns into bat form. They get the last generator. Not a no-ed gamer for Ollie. So, it does look like it's just going to be an M1. Very, very unlucky here. I feel like the, uh, the gamble kind of uh, didn't pay off for Ollie during this perk build gonna catch up now everybody is injured but the exit gate is open the exit gate is already open it is all to play for though can he get hit in he gets lilith but i think the other three are gonna make it out i think so yes they've just slid it out very unfortunate but lilith being stared at oh ollie what's he doing oh no it looks like a ws that was a ws is he letting lilith go I don't believe it. I don't believe it. The slowest WS ever. I think Ollie's a little bit rusty, bless him. Maybe it's been a little while for him, you know. He's got, got you know, it takes a while for him to get going. Lilith is going to be moonwalking and gets picked up. The BM is unreal from Team Ollie. Unbelievable. <laughs> I should say just Ollie, but I'm binding everybody else in Team Ollie in as well. Lilith, unfortunately, going to be taken to a hook, and that will be two hook stakes. As that was only Lilith's this second hook. We'll switch to the survivor's perspective here. As we now see Ollie nodding his head. <laughs> At Lilith as he gets the final two hooks. Very, very well played on both sides. And it looks like that will be six hooks total. For Ollie's team. Very, very well played. Here we go. We're in. On Larry's. We have an Oni. And it looks like Corrupt, of course, is coming into play. Spies from the Shadows, very, very strong pick on Larry's. I'm seeing some Eruption. And I think I'm seeing Unforeseen as well, if I'm not mistaken. 
which is a very juicy build. Sneaky little build for an indoor map. Aaron looking around, seeing some uh, chronifications for survivors. Maybe they run into him? Kind of depends, really. Oh! Class getting quelled really early on, and it's going to be an early M1 hit. Very, very unlucky from Class getting quite out of position there. And just like that, we are getting the orbs in play. All Aaron needs to do to play it super safe is just to keep following. That is all it takes. And it looks like Mr. Class does go down for quite an early... Um, quite an early down, actually. For Team Aaron. Sam, think of the read! Very well played by Aaron. We're going to have a little look over here. Looks like Jiggle Death is on a generator. Mr. James looking around. Cap is also on a generator. I don't think they're on the same one. So, a bit of map pressure coming out at the moment. Unforeseen coming in, I've just realized. It looks like Aaron has kicked a generator. And Mr. James is being picked up here. Very, very fortunate to run into position here. Oh, is he going to get kicked off guard? It doesn't look like it. James got the read. Aaron's leaving the area again, making the most of his unforeseen. He makes his way further into the center of the map, trying to cut off, I believe that's Cap. Cap is slowing down, though. He's not going to find an area to escape, and he does get an M1, and it looks like Aaron, for the first time in this game, has now got his power. Going to be using his Blood Rush. And does catch up, indeed. To a Mr. Cap Jam, and that is going to be the second hook. Second fresh hook. The team Aaron. Very, very well played. He's always oh, played that very, very... That is a risky play there. Trying to go back, hoping that they would get the unhook. He does just about manage to get the hook on Cap. That could have gone all wrong there if they'd have waited a little bit longer. Very, very well played there. Being patient with the unhook, but also making sure Class doesn't go to second stage. And it looks like Aaron is hunting down where Class is right now. Maybe looking around for the unforeseen value. He is indeed. He's going to tap that generator. Head further into the map again. We have a look. look ah, I can't speak. Have a little look around. Jiggle is on that generator. Almost completed. Looks like Aaron is back in power, though. So we're going to go back to Aaron. Jiggle leaving the area. Does she have enough time to escape, though? A beautiful 180 flick onto Jiggle. Not a whole lot Jiggle could do there. Especially with the undetectable. She basically ran as early as she could, and it looks like that might be a basement hook, which is very, very unfortunate for Team JRM. Very, very unlucky. Going to go back upstairs, collecting more orbs, and again, this is where the spiral is going to come into play. Cap is still injured at the moment and dropping orbs as we speak here. Not finding anybody to get hit, uh, to get healed, sorry. Not a whole lot that he can do. Looks like Mr. JRM is looking around. Aaron coming back towards basement, having a little look down, but doesn't see anybody. However, there is a wild clazer downstairs, not that Aaron is aware of. And there will be an unhook coming in soon. It is there, though, and it looks like Mr. Aaron is going to go straight back, sensibly enough. Does actually hit Jiggle, but wasn't an intentional hit. And does get the M1 successfully on Mr. Clazer. And now, Aaron with his ability again. Going to be weaving in and out of Larry's, looking for another survivor. Three people injured, by the way. So there's triple the orbs that are falling down right now for a future snowball. Aaron seemingly running away with this right now. No generators popped still yet for Team JRM. Bit of a difficult situation. They've got to kind of weigh up whether they should do the generators or whether they should just, you know, heal up, reset, and play it a lot slower. JRM with the sprint burst going to be running away now. Aaron getting caught up on a locker here. Goes for a 180. A beautiful 180 from Aaron onto JRM. Absolutely wild there. And an M1 on Cap. Cap does not get the pallet stun save. Oh my goodness. I didn't even hear Cap coming out of there. So, so unfortunate. Not enough time there. Pixel perfect M1 there from Aaron. Not even to just deny the save, but also to get a second down there. Just like that, two are on hook, and he's getting this unforeseen value again. This is incredibly, incredibly strong right now for Aaron's team. Jiggle is back on a generator right now. Mr. Klaza has got an unhook, but it looks like Oni's going to be getting another down again on Klaast and picking up yet again. James is going to be unhooking Cap, and that is Aaron with another hook for his team. Klaast is on... Death hook now once he gets unhooked here. Still no generators. It could be. 
It genuinely could be a, a 4K with zero gens at the moment. Unlucky to JRM. He's been caught out guard. Off guard. Just at the top of the building. He doesn't make it anywhere. And there's an M1. And there's another down. But he is going to be getting picked up underneath a pallet. He does swing away, but no one's there to go for the save. Jiggle's going to try and come in clutch for Team JRM and get the first point on the board for their team. And I think she will, bless her. Honestly, I think that might be the right play at this moment. Just like that, Aaron's got his ability back. There you go. Snowballing has begun. First generator on the board for Team JRM. And a very, very perfect uh, lunge in there for uh, Aaron. Cap going down yet again. On Larry's as well. You've got to bear in mind. Aaron getting a little bit paranoid of a potential head-on stun. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't realize Cap was dead. Cap is dead on hook. It's a 3v1 already this early in the game. Team James in a bit of a... Bit of a desperate situation here. They're going to have to really weigh it up. I think it's honestly getting to the point where they're going to have to just try and crank out the gens. Aaron's going to be finding some spies of the shadows or from the shadows value there. And just a flick on Jiggle. Absolutely nothing that you could do there. It's a 50-50 it's a unless you sat on that uh, on that pallet. Very, very well played by Aaron. Look at all these blood orbs as well. I think they were Jiggles, right? When she was sat on that gen before? Just going to slurp up and get power again. Oh, no, there is somebody else here. Who is this? This is Clast. Clast does bait out the hit there and gets hit as well. Aaron proving the strength on Oni. Well played. To get a down on somebody like Clast that effectively is absolutely unreal. What an absolute performance. What a shift that Aaron's team is putting in right now. That is Mr. Class dead as well. It's a 1v2 and it's just Jiggle Death and JRM back on. JRM opting to sit on the generator. They have given up healing. I think they're probably going to be spread out. And it looks like Aaron is back on his power again. Going to be going for the, uh, the, the rush. Looking around. Let's see if they can find anybody. There's a spice from the Shadows value as James does get sorted. Here's that a flick. I'm going to hyperventilate. Aaron, you can't be doing this so many times. How are you doing this? He's, he's just he's just built different. What an incredible 180 there. You just, you just, you just, ugh, you can't make it out. That is just unreal. What a goat. Beautiful flick there onto James. James, absolutely nothing he could do about that. He played that perfectly. And it is just Jiggle Death now. Potentially being able to save a hook state for our team. We're going to be on Jiggle for this remaining uh, this remaining match, hopefully she finds uh, Hatch, maybe gets a little bit lucky here. She spots the Oni in the distance. But every second that she doesn't find Hatch, the second longer that it's going to take for her to, uh, or a uh, second less likely. Guys, I, I haven't got any words. Aaron has just performed a masterclass in front of our eyes. Very, very well played for both teams. But uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot you can do. Aaron, is Aaron actually... Is Aaron picking up Jiggle and bringing Jiggle to the hook? Uh, to, not to the hook, sorry. To the hatch? I think Aaron's looking for hatch. This is so wholesome. Just a quick reminder. Jiggle Death herself is the, uh, the reason this fundraiser is going on. The funds are going to be going towards Jiggle um, for her treatment. This is such a kind gesture that Aaron's doing right now. This is so sweet. Bless his heart. He's looking for Hatch. Offering up the uh, the hook state, if he can find it, obviously. He's looking around. We can't find Hatch. It's got to be somewhere. Maybe edge of map back here. <laughs> he's, he's looking around. Uh, Mike, thank you for the raid, my friend. You've just joined in on us. Watching Aaron perform an absolute masterclass on Oni. On Larry's as well. Using an undetectable kind of build to, um... <laughs> he just can't find Hatch. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, there it is. He's found it. He's found it. <gasps> no, you couldn't do this, Aaron. Aaron, you wouldn't. Imagine he stomps Hatch. <laughs> Aaron is such a fucking sweetheart. That is so cute. Can I just say, 
Aaron genuinely did not have to do that at all. He's just given away a, uh, a point from his team in order to give Jiggle, who the tournament fundraiser is all for. That is super, super, um, super kind of, uh, of Aaron. Bless his heart. 10 out of 10. We love the camaraderie. Maybe they're deducting points to their own side to keep it... Oh my goodness gracious. I didn't even consider that, you know. It is Larry's though. They're just memeing. That's so funny. Minus 100. Disqualified. We're going to end the game now. I'm joking. I'm joking. Right. We're in. Let's concentrate now. Mr. JRM himself on Oni. Trying to get an early hit. He actually opts... Instead of chasing, he opts to go for the generator kick to get the undetectable. Which honestly might pay off. We shall see. We shall see. Have a little look around. Some scratch marks nearby, but everybody is holding W as much as they can. Mr. Hens, I believe. Straight off the rip, and James is going to be looping around. A nice quick early drop there, as you would expect. No risking, no risk taking right here from Team Aaron. They're going to try their absolute best to avoid an M1 for as long as they possibly can. No! Jeepers! Jeepers! Jeeper thought she had the Wraith cloak on. Unlucky there. She does get M1'd, in fact. <laughs> it looks like the snowboard started. No! Jeeper ran into Adok. Jeeper! No! We love this. We love this girl so much. Bless Jeeper. Bless her heart. Oh! What an angle! What a flashlight save. Who is that? Somebody got a flashlight save. And just like that, we're back again. Oh, 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 oh. g has got a loop. A juicer. Not quite the vault in time. That's another down there. And it doesn't look like the flashlight save actually wasted a whole lot of time here. But Aaron's lurking and does get him one. He gets swiped. And not only does James have somebody down, but he also has his ability. So he's looking to probably pick up now. And he does indeed. I can imagine this is going to be quite a close game. One generator completed now. Four... Team Aaron. James opting to use his ability now. Gonna be rushing around the map. Inside, weaving in and out of all the corridors. Runs into a bit of a dead end there, but he's having a little look around to see if anybody's nearby. Only sees a G-Burb, unfortunately. Thought he saw somebody else. I think he might have just missed somebody that I saw on the corner there, though. And they do indeed get the unhook. It was Ops Darva lurking in the shadows. Does get an M1 on g but doesn't, uh, isn't, isn't allowed to tunnel, but that is absolutely fine. He's not anyway. He's looking for a little, uh, a little lunge. He doesn't quite get it. Opstarver does get the pallet stun, and he does make his way out into the next room, making some distance here. It doesn't look like James is going to get the flick. Very, very unfortunate there as he loses his ability here, though. He's going to be kicking the generator again. Back into the undetectable health state, though, which could make him sneak up on somebody. Honestly, not a bad play here, considering they've all reset. And he needs to be snowballing again. And just like that, it worked perfectly. Aaron does swipe and take an M1. A couple of uh, vaults coming in for some extra blood orbs for the Oni, which he can use later on. And a little look around. Spice from the shadows doing the work. g -burb in the limelight. And instead of going for Ostarver, it looks like g -Burb is going to be the chasey. Collecting some more blood orbs here. For his power, he hasn't quite got enough. But he will in a couple of seconds once he finds one or two more. He's actually heading towards g -Burb, though. g -Burb might be getting caught out here. Is there an M1? Not quite. Very, very well played, g -Burb. Incredible pallet stun. You can see a little bit of frustration on James's side. Shaking his little mouse. He is doing incredibly well. Give some round of applause to James as well. Very, very hard to be able to top what uh, Aaron did last match. But it is still all to play for. He can still get a heck of a lot of snowballing. Having a little look in here now. He's gone to the left-hand side. He thought he maybe saw somebody. He's actually going to get unforeseen value. And make his way around to get the flick. A beautiful flick onto Aaron. The previous only in last game. And that will be a very well-deserved second hook. 
for Mr. JRM. Well played. Back for some more orbs. He's still got a good chunk of his power. He didn't use too much of it up in that first chase. Collected some orbs. Going to be chasing uh, hens now, I believe, on the ace. Does hens make it anywhere? Oh, very well timed to beat it in. Hens doing a little cheeky sidestep. <laughs> a little cheeky head shake. A bit of dramaturgy coming in now. But what does it equate to? It's just a scream. It could have been a very, very unfortunate case of exposed. Like we saw earlier on in the tournament with Jiggle Death. A nice M1. James does has, uh, have his ability again now. Going to be vaulting out. And he does swing as he comes down. That's a very, very well played M1. James is allowed to uh, snowball this. As he does see somebody nearby, he opted to pop his power, though. Aaron getting trapped in a corner and will go down as well. And there's two down, just like that. Just like that, before you know it. He's got two on the ground. The map pressure is through the roof. And Team Aaron need to try and sort out a pickup, which they have done, actually, on hens. As we see, Opstarver cranking the last generator. Will he get there in time before the uh, Odie comes out of the basement? Is he going to stick to it? He does indeed stick to it. He completes the generator, tries to go inside the Odie, but James isn't having any of it. And Ops does go down for the gen. But honestly, the more points that they get on the survivor side, the better right now. As um, Team uh, JRM only got one generator completed last match. But we do see... A hen's waiting in basement right now. Hopefully not getting spotted and healing up in basement with, uh... Uh... I don't know what it is. I was gonna say strength and shadows, but I don't think it is. A medkit? Is it a medkit? Uh, in the meanwhile, sorry, I got a bit distracted. Aaron has gone down yet again! To JRN. Very well played. James is absolutely juicing right now. <laughs> G-Verb coming in, trying to go for a Sabo. Does she get it? She does indeed very well played. <laughs> oh, he did have a yellow med kit. Thank you, guys. G-Verb does get hit, though. She does get the Sabo, but there are going to be two people down. Whether that was worthy of a Sabo or not remains to be seen, but G-Verb is going to be getting hit. Aaron does get picked up, actually. Was it Aaron? I don't think it was Aaron's death hook. Could have been very well played either way. And it looks like James has opted to use his ability again. Hen's waiting for the pallet, staring him down. Oh! No! He just juices on the inside! That's so unfortunate. Hen's with the movement of a god. Sorry, I'm a little bit blown away right now. If I'm making mistakes in the commentary, I'm just absolutely baffled. Like, this is some insane gameplay right now. I'm just, like, fanboying a little bit over it. <laughs> it looks like James is circling back around to g -Burb's hook to see if anybody's nearby. We see some scratch marks picked up now. Does spot Hens again. Is he going to get the flick? He doesn't quite get there in time, and he doesn't actually body block as well. So it looks like Hens... Unlucky. He's gone for the uh, the M1, but doesn't get there in time. g -Burb, still on a hook, though. And it looks like Hensley's going to be getting caught off guard there. And just like that, Hensley's down. And I don't know if anybody's going to be getting uh, the save. Are they going to be able to get the unhook? They do. g -Burb lives to see another day. Oh, stop it. Plops himself onto the ground. And um, uh, you know what? Honestly, that probably took the, uh, the heat off of g -Burb there. It might have been a bit of an interesting play, but you know what? Maybe the uh, the Ops plot twist tech uh, could be the play of the century. <laughs> you, never, you never know. You never know. You never know. Uh, we're going to be seeing James pick up Hens Triple Free and pop him onto a nearby hook as well. Two people on generators right now. We're going to have a little look and see what everybody else is doing. It looks like G-Bird and Aaron are both resetting right now. Further away from these unhooks. So they're wanting to slow down the gameplay a little bit now. We are going to be seeing Opstarver Hens hanging for dear life. And Oni looking around to see where everybody is. Collecting some blood orbs in the meantime. Making the most of the downtime and keeping an eye on the nearby hooks. It's getting a bit close though because Opstarver is actually quite low on the uh, the timer there. The hook timer. 
So they're going to need to get an M1, uh, not an M1, sorry, an unhook pretty soon. Just as Aaron gets spotted there, it looks like Jeeba might be trying to get the unhook. She does indeed get the unhook. As Mr. JRM comes back to the unhook, looking to try and get the death hook um, kill, I believe, on G-Burb. Otstava as well is also death hook. <laughs> you gotta respect it, James. You gotta, you gotta respect it. He's done a little WS and he's left Ots in the plot twist on the ground. Interesting little position there. Um... <laughs> what a finesse vault from Hens. And we're back into another chase. And just like that, Hens is going to be running away with life. Screaming away. Was that scene partner? I'm not entirely sure. We've got another vault there from Aaron. The bloodlust kicking in, actually. Surprisingly, it might be taken away just before it gets um, any value out of it. Never mind. It's going to be Snowball. g -Burb is going to be spotted in the middle of nowhere. The speed is just too much to reach that pallet in time for G-Burb, but she does take an M1. JRM with the power back again. The Demon Dash back into effect. And Otstava not quite going to be getting flicked by James while he uses his uh, whatever he was using, Dramaturgy or some kind of sprint to get away. Otstava going for the vault. Hucking his way on the inside. Oh, no! And James gets hit on an object. He gets Larry's done. It looks like he's opting to leave Otstava now and head back to the last generator. Hopefully, it will be getting popped soon. We shall have a little look and see. e on a generator and Hens as well on a generator. Not too far progress right now. And it doesn't look like James is on the only generator, in fact that is not being uh, worked on right now. So he's got a bit of work to do. He's not got enough time in his power to get back in time. He's actually going to forfeit and fatigue. And he's going to have to try and make the rest of the distance on his, on his little legs. Try and get some more value back for his blood rush in a future chase. We've heard. Oh, that's so unlucky. g -Burb. Blowing up the generator, getting spotted, going down, being the only injured survivor as well. Super, super unfortunate. But the other generator has been juiced up in the meantime. The other three survivors have absolutely cooked away with the generator, and they are all going to be splitting up now. As it looks like Mr. JRM is finding hens again, trying to track him down. Let's see what happens now in this chase, as hens loops his way around here. Will he get to the next pallet in time? It looks like he does. And a little bit of a fake with James, and he does make the pallet in time. Very well played. Hens is going to be looping around this area now. Maybe saving enough blood orbs for his rush now. Is he going to pop his power? He might actually stick with this. This chase with Hens. We shall see. I don't think he's going to make it anywhere else. Aaron actually being a little sneaky devil. Enz is still trying to make his way around. They're going to see if maybe they can get a three out here. Using his power. Going to be heading towards the exit gate that no doubt is open right now. Otstava coming in for a hit take. But he does get Hens down. I think maybe Otstava is going to probably have to leave. Does he make it out in time? He does indeed. Otstava lives to see another day despite the plot twist value earlier on in the game. Looks like there's a certain Aaron lurking around. Does James... Does James think he's aware of it? This could be... This could be... Oh my goodness. Is he going to get away with it? James, there's no way. He's not going to get away with it. James is too smart and gets the down. He's going to have to go back and pick up Hens, who's currently crawling away for dear life. And picks up the Hens. Is he going to be able to get uh, Aaron in time after he gets the hook? Going to have to see. I'm loving whatever is going on with Oni's body right now. We're going to switch back here. Aaron's not going to make it in time. He's trying to crawl to the corner to get as far away from a potential hook as possible. Does he make it to a hook, though? We shall see. James weaving in and out of Larry's rooms to make it over. I think he does have enough time. And that is going to be a super clutch 3k. And a three extra hook states. 
All Team JRM, an incredible performance on both sides. Genuinely, can we just get a round of applause for James and Team Aaron in this match? Insane, insane. That was so fun to watch. Ladies, gentlemen, and everybody in between, we have an absolute masterclass coming in. Otstava on the Trapper. Using his Insidious, it's the only perk he's got. <laughs> he's just doing an Insidious trap. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I really hope this catches everybody off guard. Ots is locking in right now. Picking up everything that he can. No add-ons seen on the Trapper. He's going to be putting some very sneakily placed traps in. As we're going to be looking at seeing what the other survivors are going to be doing now. James currently maybe being ignored right now? No, it looks like the chase is being uh, started now, initiated. JRM and Opstar are the two contributors just now. Contributing a total £600 to the fund. Are going head to head. Ops popping a trap down. As we're going to be seeing JRM looping uh, this kind of side filler palette here. Faking it out there. Opstar are not quite getting that though. But JRM is going to be... Ooh, maybe getting caught out here? Does he make it? And it looks like his 10 ping... Uh, internet is going to be sick. Oh my goodness. And the clutch um, disarm of the trap. I think that was from Cap Jam there. Needs to be reset there from uh, Opstar there. Not a whole lot he can do around this pie pallet here. This tile. Head back to Trapper's perspective here. Mr. Opstar there. It looks like he's going to be getting an M1 here. He does indeed. But the first generator popped in for Team JRM. Where is James? Ox is opting to actually drop chase and put another trap down. Very, very sensible. As we see the trap in the main area, also disarmed yet again. I wonder what kind of value he's going to get from Insidious. We shall see. Another chase back up again. JRM back in that corner pallet there. Gonna have to leave the area, I think. Not a whole lot of positioning to do. Ox has this area trapped. Looks like Class is going to be taking a hit now as Ops goes on to Class with Balance Landing. Making the extra distance very well played. Taking the aggro and then getting the extra distance. Forcing a chase further away. Ah! Ops Darwin does get the mind game and it looks like Class is going down as the second generator for Team JRM is going to be popped. Very, very well played. Are they going to wiggle in time? I don't think they are. Oh, Starver. Oh, I don't know. It's going to be... It's going to be close. But no cigar. First hook on the board for Team Aaron. Going to be seeing... The JRM on a motor. Jiggle Death, the beautiful girl that she is. On another generator as well. Going to be getting a point soon. Another uh, generator point for Team JRM. Looks like Ostar was going to be hanging out over this way. James threw a pebble in his mouth. I think he caught it with his uh, with his teeth. Ostar dropping the pallet there. Insidious kicked in for a split second. Not for long. Oh, and it looks like Cap is going to be getting caught out there, trying to disarm the trap. They're double looping this tile here. They're going to get away in time. They did very well played. But James... Wait, did James... I don't know what happened there. Was he... Did he get healed? He's back to injured again. <laughs> Seven Deli. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> like James is going to be getting... Uh, chased once again. Oh, saw the trap last second. Doesn't make the pallet, though. The other side, unlucky. And that'll be a second hook of Mr. Ostava. Meanwhile, we'll have a little look around. Cap is injured, running away from main. We have Jiggle Death on another generator being an absolute gen jockey right now. And Mr. Class of Tyrone <laughs> heading up towards main. Starla picking up another trap. It looks like, I assume, Class is going to be rotating around to get the unhook. There's another trap that's been disarmed. And Class is around here as well. He's going to be putting a second trap down. Very, very interesting. That looks like a somewhat unplayable trap. Uh, unplayable Tile there, I should say. Sorry. In GRM, unless they both double disable this arm. Another unhook coming in now. Looks like Ostarvers opting to go straight back to the unhook. 
Of course, respecting the no tunnel. Goes for another wrap down there with an extra haste status effect. Goes for the vault instead. Doesn't have any more traps right now. Very, very well played. And looks like Mr. Cap Jam <laughs> is going to be pointing and then crawling through the trap, which forces Alt Starver to pick up the trap. Very well played. Smart decision. It only wastes a couple of seconds, but genuinely, that could be all that you need. Games like this. So JRM going to be picking up Chase potentially once again. Both traps are disabled again. Starver is going to be uh, resetting both of them, it seems. Or maybe just the one. Looks like James is going to be uh, getting chased once again. Very, very interesting. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm, I'm genuinely like over the moon with this kind of game. It's so fun to watch. Blast mine coming in. I think that might have been Jiggle Death, you know. Uh, it was indeed Jiggle Death's blast mine. That's her claim to fame now. She's blast mine, not Starva. <laughs> Unreal. Be sure to cheer on your favorite team in the chat as well. Support them in any way you can, monetarily or even just with kind words as well. Fourth generator coming in from Jiggle for Team JRM. Still only two traps at the moment. Looks like Mr. Class is getting chased now. Another M1 coming in from Upstarver. Two people injured right now. Cap Jam, interestingly, staying injured for Team JRM. And the chase is on. A swing and a miss as Class runs to the next pallet. You can see James crouching away. What is he doing? What is he doing? He's, he's following around with his little pebble, I think. I think he's trying to get some diversion value. We love it. We love the pebble value. Oh, they go for the pallet drop there. And it looks like JRM is going to be looping around as the fifth and final generator gets popped in. <laughs> I love James. The little pebble. Pebble value. Maybe he goes for the pebble. You never know. It doesn't look like Ots has fallen for it this time. Unlucky. I would have fallen for that, honestly. James is back up in main. The trap disabled. Still looping it on early. It looks like he's left the area. Going to be setting down one of the traps again. Heading back to the other side here. Let's have a quick look and see what everybody else is doing. They're healing up here, it looks like. No exit gates are being opened right now. So, it, you know, this could really come down to a snowball position. Jiggle Death out of nowhere gets found in a trap, but she does get away scot free. She escapes it instantly. James is making his way to the trap. He doesn't see it, though. And he goes down. And that will be another hook, hopefully. All goes to plan for Mr. Art Starver on the trapper. Another trap disarmed there. Oh my goodness, is that a basement hook coming in? That is a rough spot for James to be in right now. That could be two, uh, two hook states if they don't manage to get him out of basement. He looks like he's going for a little basement trapper. I wonder if any of these gamers have the balls of steel to go down into the basement. We shall see. We shall see. All three of them lurking around. They're all fully, uh, fully healed. Clast takes an M1. And it looks like... It looks like Jiggle might be heading down. Said, no, she opts to leave the area. She doesn't want to go down. It's getting a little bit close, though. You've got to be very, very careful now. As it looks like Opstarver's going to be getting chased. I'm oh, sorry, not going to be getting chased. Jiggle is going to be getting chased by Opstarver. Hopping to head towards this area. But Jiggle doesn't actually run towards the exit gate. Tries to fake it, but doesn't end up Winning the mind game, and we do get a down for a jiggle. And another hook for Mr. Otz. As a second hook state. James has been fully healed. I assume they're being hooked in, uh, sorry, healed in basement right now. We can go have a look and check. Yeah, they've all just made it out of basement. Now Jiggle is the maiden that needs to be saved. And Otz Darv has trapped the nearby exit gate as well. Just to add a little bit more, um... <laughs> We're going to be seeing an Insidious? Oh my goodness, we are. The Insidious play coming in. James is looking around. He's slow vaulted. And the swing coming, but actually James gets the unhook somehow. 
I don't, I, I can't believe he actually managed to get that. That is so unlucky. That could have come in super clutch. But it did not pay off for Mr. Altstarver. He's going to be making his way upwards towards main again. Finding Cap Jam this time, who is healthy. They're both trying to take aggro and they're both healed up. The Cap making his way towards the vault. The finesse value as well, but he doesn't have any uh, life or balance landing to make up for it as well. So he does stagger and I think Ops does catch up a little bit now. What happened there? Did he reset the uh, the trap maybe for the in uh, inside the match? I'm not entirely sure. We didn't quite catch on to that. There's an M1 there coming in though. Do they get the exit gate? Escapes for everybody. It looks like Cap and JRM are going to be escaping. Where are the other two though? They're healing the other side of the map. Jigglef not opting to stay uh, or opting to stay injured, I should say. Sorry, Clast looks like he's going to be leaving the area now. Where's Jiggle going? Jiggle's heading into the match. Uh, into the map, sorry. She wants to go to basement? Is that what's happening right now? <laughs> As she's sacrificing herself for her team. Otstava is taking that and running with it. And getting the extra couple of hook states for his team. And that will be Jiggle dying. Everybody, I would like an F or a salute, an 07 in chat. The Jiggle Death, sacrificing herself for her team. Very, very honorable of her. Well played to both sides. 07. The final match that you're going to see tonight. Coming in with Naughty Bear being played by Jiggle Death against Team Aaron. Fun to shed some blood. Oh, yes, it will. Let's go. I'm so hyped. Let's get into the game. Jiggle is opting to head straight into main building now. Putting a trap down at the very, very prestigious um, pallet that I know Otstarva was very, very keen on uh, keen on using beforehand. Is she going to drop the... Yeah, looks like she's going to try and put a trap down here as well. Very, very finicky as well, actually. What blind take of the five gifted? What the hell? Um... And uh, here we go. We're going to be getting into our first chase. I thought Star was going to be getting chased. But it looks like Aaron's going to be getting chased instead. Naughty Bear vaults instead. Going to be running around trying to find... Ooh, not quite. Gets a stun in. No, nope, doesn't get the flashlight blind though. As he opts to run away and make the distance instead. I've just noticed the one perk that Jiggles have. And you know what? That could come in so clutch. She's only got one perk. Cheeky little mind game coming in. Look at the the flair, the confidence oozing from Jiggle Death right now. She's doing the 360, the back-to-back, -back, no scopes and all that stuff. I don't even know what she's doing right now. We've got a <laughs> G-Burb giving her a little kiss after a pallet stun. Very, very sweet. We love G-Burb, by the way. What an absolute gem. Recently moved up north. Only, I heard, just to get a higher ping to play in this tournament. <laughs> Gonna be chasing around. Oh, it looks like G-Bub's gonna be getting caught off guard. Does she make the vault? I think she does, but it's an unsafe vault. But G-Bub with the life makes the extra distance. But she does go down eventually. Very well played to G-Bub and Jiggle. What's gonna be going on here? She's gonna check around for maybe uh, maybe a cheeky flashbang gamer. Not gonna be seeing anybody come in, but a first generator coming in. For Team Aaron. G-Bub also being hooked for the first hook for team JRM as well. It's coming down to the wire. Again, you can skew the result of this match by donating to the fundraiser. The coup de grace not coming in clutch and Hens opting to drop the pallet instead. Very, very unlucky. That could have come in clutch. Look at the coup de grace value. Is that a one hit down? Was that dramaturgy? Oh my God, it was. Hens had Dramaturgy and got the exposed status effect. I, I, I didn't even realize. Huge value coming in for Team JRM for Mr. Hens Perk. Super duper unlucky. That is so unfortunate. <laughs> but that'll be two hooks on board there. And let's have a quick look at where the survivors are. Aaron is cranking a generator while Otstarva goes for G-Burb's unhook. It looks like Jiggle Def's going to be opting to head back towards where the unhook came in. Maybe... Try and find a gamer 
the hit. Maybe Opstarva. Does look like it will be. No mind game coming in there. But does get the M1 on Opstarva. Very well played by Jiggledef there. She is doing tremendously well. Two hook states right now. Already. And there's only two generators done. This is a tough little match. All to play for right now. Gonna be setting the trap down again. She's reset one of them. Does Opstarva make distance? Looks like she's gonna put the trap down. Nope, she's decided to give up. It's too finicky. He hasn't got the patience. She wants blood. You can smell Opstarva's blood from here. Jaws style. He's like a shark. Ops goes in for the vault. She's gonna put a trap down one side of the vault. And put the trap pick up it again. And then, yep. Uh, but she's done it. She has put it down. Maybe for the double haste. What a lunge, by the way, that was. Aaron opting to go for the, the, the pallet stun and try and make some distance. Aaron's going to leave the area. He's pretty desperate, actually. Does he make the... Oh, my goodness. The generator came in for the coup de grace stacks to kick in, which means coup de grace was the reason for Jigwada to get that M1 right at the end there. Aaron was just not aware, and I don't think anybody in the team, they're all going to be taking hits as well. Does Jiggle make it back to this hook? She does, but it looks like a scream's going to come in. Maybe that was Hens? Unless it was Scene Partner. I think it was Dramaturgy. Hens is a gambler tonight, huh? Dramaturgy coming in. He went for the scream this time. He's got two of the worst effects that could have been kicked in for Dramaturgy. Jiggle is going to kick this uh, this trap here. Oh, uh, this uh, pallet here, sorry. Go way over. Hens is in a bit of a dead zone, but the coup de grace stack, the second and final one that she had. And then Hens is going to go for the uh, the farm. <laughs> Aaron, I thought, was going to be sneaking around with the flashbang. But it looks like... Might not be waiting around much longer. Oh, no. There's a pallet. Anybody nearby? No, she tried swinging backwards, but she didn't get enough distance. And Aaron got the save in the end. Unlucky to Jiggle Death. All of the uh, the the, the uh, map pressure has been reset as well. It's back to chasing somebody. Two generators left to be repaired for Team Aaron. Jiggle is doing an incredible job, can I just say. Big, big props. Opstarva taking an M1 as Jiggle Def is going to be pursuing the Jonah instead. With the very, very nice... I kind of want that blue sweater, you know. Looks kind of cute. I feel like I'd rock it, you know. Oh, didn't go for the vault. Did indeed opt for the vault. And Jiggle maybe frustrated with herself. I'm not entirely sure. I think Ops played that incredibly well. I was very unlucky. But don't forget, there are more coup de grace stacks to come for every generator that gets popped. Jiggle does catch up with the Bloodlust and gets a well-deserved down. You can see Aaron just sneaking around there. What's he doing? Is he gonna... <laughs> What's happening? He really wants this save. He really wants this save. Hit him. He's so ready. There's a uh, cap as well. Oh, no, sorry. Hens using his Dramaturgy, but even his sprint does not catch up in time for the M1. <laughs> What's going on here? I am concerned. Oh, Aaron is in a... Oh, is Aaron in a chase? I think Jiggle just wants to pick up. <gasps> is she going to get it in time, though? No, she's not. Aaron denies a second. A second hook. Very, very... Wait. Wait. Ostava offers himself... Not in that way, guys. That'd be weird. To Jiggle. Oh, Jiggle slip... Oh, I didn't realize Aaron could slip through there. <laughs> Ots, Ots is uh, giving Jiggle a hook. And Aaron, nothing he can do about that. Even though he got himself, uh, got his team the uh, another flashlight save. Oh, no. Where's the flashbang? I'm so scared for Jiggle, honestly. She's walking backwards. Absolutely not taking any, um, any risks there. <laughs> Aaron is going to be getting chased now. Oh, doesn't quite get the coup stack there, value. Unlucky. Does go for the vault, though. Jiggle hopefully will get her revenge on Aaron. 
Not quite. Wastes the other last stack there. Going to be forcing and zoning Aaron, hopefully, to not get as much distance. Jiggle's doing an incredible job. Just a reminder, four hook states. Oh, not quite get the M1. She's looking at the vault. Aaron, the fast vault god. Oh, Starva coming out of nowhere with a pallet stun. What is going on? The stare down here between Ops and Jiggle. As Ops searches dominance after the plot twist and runs off into the shadows. And it looks like Jiggle's going to be going on to g -Burb now. g -Burb going to be taking up Chase? Maybe not, maybe not. It looks like maybe Jiggle has actually left Chase. Doesn't want to chase the wonderful g -Burb And is instead going to put pressure on one of the last generators that there is. Opting to destroy... The pallet nearby the generator that is almost completed. You've got to be very careful about the last couple of generators right now. This is unreal. Make sure you get your cheers in chat. Remember, this is the final match of the tournament. We are about to go into endgame. The final generator will be getting popped soon. Oh, very nice mind game. But Aaron... Oh, he just about makes it. I thought Jiggle might have got on the mind game as well after that. The final generator has been popped. For team Aaron. And Jiggle's looking to try and get as many stacks as possible. A quick reminder. Every £10 donated to the fundraiser equates to four points to a team of your choosing. With the exception of team Aaron. Who are well in the lead. We're looking to see if anybody can make a comeback. We shall see. But Jiggle does get a down on Aaron. Very well deserved. It's about time Aaron gets what he deserves. The cheeky flashbangs coming in. Like Hens is going to be going for a finesse, but doesn't quite get the, the, the pace of the perk value. Going to see Aaron on hook. Otstarva is in the grass. We have... Uh, wait, is that Ots? It is Ots. I thought it was somebody on... Wait, wait. Is he running... Um... <laughs> wait. I was going to say, I thought I saw Ots on the uh, exit gate, but Hens has ratted out Otstarva. Jiggle Death is not having any of it, though, and I think she's going to be... <laughs> she was made well aware of that as well. I don't know if... Uh, is, is Hens going to crawl out in time? Maybe she's going to... Snitches get stitches and pick up Hens in said. Rata 333. Not happy about that at all. Opstarva does get a very well-deserved escape, considering he got ratted out by Hens. And Hens is instead going to get on hook. For his second hook stay. An M1 coming in from Jiggle to assert dominance. As we see Mr. Aaron and g -Burb working as a duo unit coming in. Maybe to try and get the last ditch effort to save Hens from the hook. We shall see. Jiggle might be setting up a couple of traps here in the grass. Very, very smart decision from her. You never know. It could come in clutch at this end game here. Aaron is close by. Spamming on hook, actually. Toxic. g -Burb as well. They are not happy with Hens ratting out poor Arts Darva. I think they're going to be spamming on hook for the rest of the game. You know, you never know. Hens, nothing he can do here is he is left to struggle on hook back and forth between Aaron, <laughs> Aaron and g -Burb are both going to be tapping, spamming on hook. Loving this. That's the man I love. We love Aaron. And even Jiggle coming in with a WS. We don't like rats. Ratter, free, free, free. Get him what he deserves. I think he's going to be left to die on hook. As we see everybody uh, everybody around here spam tapping as much as they can. Oh, I thought Jiba might have gone for the unhook there. Is she going to go for the unhook? No, she's 99'd it. And they're going to walk away. Unless... Maybe... No, I don't think Jiggle wants the unhook at all. Hens has been left to die. A deserved death and a deserved kill. Actually, for Team JRM. And Aaron's going to be trying to sandbag g -Burb. But Aaron stands in a trap. And g -Burb is teabagging the karma. You cannot write it. The karma. Oh my goodness, I'm getting lightheaded watching this unfold. <laughs> I can't believe that's just happened. Aaron's getting taken to the hook. <laughs> and nice death hook for Aaron as well. The, the nodding, the M1 coming in from Jiggle. And it looks like 
Oh my goodness. I need to catch my breath. g -Burb has escaped for a two out for Team Aaron to finalize that matchup. Oh my goodness gracious. And it looks like, actually, as a result of that, Team JRM pipped and won this set team aaron were the winners of sparky's streamer showdown consisting of aaron Otstava, hens and g -Burb. i hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like subscribe if you are new and i will see you in the next video consider clicking on another video on screen if you're interested in more